Two minutes to countdown, folks. Two minute countdown. Make sure you share if you care. Hope you're wearing your underwear. Sunday's Mother's Day. Um, don't forget that Sunday is Mother's Day. You got one day to figure that out. Um, we're live on Facebook. We're not live yet. Two minutes to go, Phil. Finish out your viewings. So I can pick my nose? But you can still pick your nose right now. As long as you don't talk while you do it. Kind of a big show tonight, folks. Lots going on. Special all-night event, actually, with the Phil and John Zone as we premiere at 7 o'clock. Live video of, well, it won't be live, it'll be videos of all the music performances from our show so far tonight. One long three-hour movie. It's going to be great. It's going to be like 45 minutes. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> One minute to go, folks. <laughs> Good talk. We're going to say some of this for the show. Gummy bear! <laughs> share out here. So share if you got it. Share to the group. Share to the people you love. Share to your mom and dad. Share to your mom because it's Mother's Day. And everybody loves them. Everybody has a mom. Say hey, if you got a belly button, you got a mother. Um, folks, everybody who has a belly button was born, and that means there was a mom out there at least one point in time. So I want you to think about your mom right now. We're getting ready for the show. My mom, Patricia Floyd Wigan, she's out there. She's my inspiration. She did a lot of art. I was young. Um, well, I got real heavy real quick there. Um, I got a theme song for you. Wait, hey, don't start crying. Before we go any farther, you've gone too long without a theme song. It's time. You know what that means, Phil? What? John? <laughs> it's time for the show, buddy. <laughs> Warnings out here tonight. And somebody makes their appearance on cue. Perfect timing, young man. Way to go, Scoober. Hello, Johnny. Friday, the 7th of May, um, week 52. We started on the 7th of May, or thereabouts, a year ago today, Phil. So, um, wow, congratulations. I baked you a cake. Actually, I just drew a little tiny piece of a cake right here on the, on the, on the picture for Bill Kreutzman because it's Bill Kreutzman's birthday today, too. He turned 75, but we're only turning 52, but do the math. Welcome to the show. Yeah, welcome, John. Um, yeah, it's been a um, wonderful year. We've made it through, it's like a time warp. Um, just jump yeah. to the left. Of what, was there some kind of thing going on health-wise? Was there... We've made it through, yeah, 52 weeks, in, 52 weeks in a row, John. Good to see you. Um, it's been an amazing uh, run. and uh, 52 no, weeks. It, it's just been uh, great to have an outlet to talk to you and uh, just mind-boggling the uh, musical guests, the people that have come on, the people that have chatted. Um, uh, yeah. I I've seen it. We, I have proof. This stuff is, you know. The things I say and the way I look, it's all recorded. So, but it's pretty cool. I spent this morning going through all the videos, all the shows we've done, taking out all of, taking a, a musical performance out from everybody who's been on the show. You got There's three pages of this. Um, and the video is two hours and 55 minutes long, or thereabouts, two hours and 50 minutes long. And it'll be premiering tonight on YouTube at seven o'clock. Um, you should make the, DVDs and put an, um, a three hour edible in there and give it to them. It's about right, yeah. I started watching. I, I tried. I, I spent the whole morning going through the videos and pulling all the songs, and um, it's it's over fifty songs. So some nights there were like three or four performers, or some some people got two songs. Some nights there was no music. So there's probably 55, 60 songs on there. And I went back and started listening to it. And I was just blown away by some of the stuff that we've been witness to on here. It's um mm -hmm. going to be a heck of a heck of an experience as we go through this. Yeah. Yeah, I have. I have. Go ahead. 
Well, that's tonight at 7, youtube.com slash John Griffin R. I'll send a link in there before we get done tonight so we can all go to the premiere at 7 o'clock. And we can chat in there if we want to. We won't be able to see each other. But anyway, that's that's something else, a bonus for Phil and John Zone. We love you guys so much for a whole year at the Phil and John Zone. I mean, okay, your turn, Phil. <laughs> Scooby's excited. Um, yeah, um, yeah, it's been, um, yeah, we talked before the show. Here we go again after 52 weeks. Can't, don't know what to say. I mean, I have, I need a cue card. Uh, yeah. Like, um, people said we're better when uh, we're doing it next to each other. It just flows, but I can't still talk to this thing. But um, we're going to be at a lot of festivals coming up, a lot of festivals announcing because things are open up. People are doing, I guess, what you're supposed to be doing. So we'll be at a lot. Scooby will be there, I'm sure. Chester will be there, too. Chester's upstairs. Um, moving truck next door? No, oh, there's a moving truck next door. He's got to bark at everything. Uh, that's, that's a Chester bark, yeah. He's getting his bark on. He's getting he's a big boy. He's growing into it. He's about the size of a, a Midwestern knuckle tail wolfhound, as they get. What was that? No, he, uh, Midwestern knuckle tail. Hey, Dan Brandt, Jeffrey Blackmon, and Steph Stedman, and Mark Chilton, and Joe Griffin. People already in the room over there paying attention just tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a fun show tonight. One of my favorite guitar players, Roy Ponce, is going to be on the show tonight from Brainchild. Um, oh, is that that guy from France, Roy Ponce? That's just one one guest we have tonight. Um, and, and the other guest, I won't even announce him right away because we got guests that are going to just phone in here for in a few minutes from California and do five records with us. And we got man, we got somebody who might come into the studio tonight and play in the studio with me here tonight. Since we're all getting vaccinated, we're all we're all feeling more comfortable a little bit. And they just happen to be on the road traveling through town tonight, so we'll all bring that up later on if it happens. Um, can't make any promises or you know. I mean, the only promise I make is I don't make any promises. <laughs> but we got a big show planned. Phil, I, I, I interrupted you again, probably. So what were you saying? Nothing. <laughs> no, um, you plan on bringing Scoob to um majority of the festivals you go to? As much as I can do, yep. Mm-hmm. I think you know, so Chester will be like coming. That. He missed um, Sugar Creek, but he will be at... Um, I think um, anybody here that um, Shoe Fest is going to be back. Oh, think twice. Oh. Phil's all right. You see what my shirt says? You know, everybody posted stuff on Facebook. Yeah. It says, don't think twice. It's Phil's all right. See, like, your name, Phil. Phil. Oh, very nice. Very good. Oh, I Shoe like fast. that. Right. Shoe Fest, Mantino. We're just getting excited. We're a little worked up, folks. I got my RV pass today. I ordered my RV pass for Shoe Fest. Ready to paint the sign. More than excited. Can't wait for the lineup to come out. Good job, Shoe Fest. Um, um, Vanessa, Matt, Zach, and whoever is part of the Shoe Fest. Can't wait to be back at Camp Shaw. Um, can't wait for the lineup. Can't wait um, for everything. Um, Wow, it's happening. Um, I, uh, super I, I super psyched. Time. Super psyched. Super psyched. Um, he, he was out there doing landscaping today. Yeah. Um, yeah. Man, yeah, just good memories. Yeah, just looking at some of the posters, um, so, some of the bands, you know, some of the memories. A lot of people are just uh, good times. We did not see Todd Snyder at Shoe Fest. He couldn't make it. <laughs> I got two, I got two uh, Todd Snyder. I, I painted two albums. He didn't play. They're there. They're in my collection. I couldn't put them out because he wasn't there. What I right guess. There? Yeah, I gave you one. Oh, I got two. I have. I have one left then. Yeah, that's a that's a mistake. Well, well, I don't know. Sorry, Todd. I have the other one. Uh, my friend Chris Johnson has checked in, Tommy Dean, and Ben. A lot of people have checked in the room already, so I think that um, it's 4 Hi, Tommy I, Dean. I, I did remind everybody in the intro that this week, oh my God, sorry about that. This week is a Mother's Day. It's a Sunday, so make sure you get a hold of your mom, talk to her. You know, my mom. This mom, week? Yeah, so. Oh. Uh, did you happen to get into your record collection today and pick out five records? Well, I'm going to let Jeff. Did you get five records? Because it's time. 
Hope you're ready, Jeff. I'm bringing you in the room. Five records. Not one of my records, but let's check out the old man himself, Marvin Gaye. I'm our friend Blackmar from. What's up, JB? On your region. Nobody goes to Fresno anymore. What's up, Jeffrey? Oh, he's been in the pool. Look at him. He's been in the pool. I can tell. What's up, California kid? Maybe, maybe the hat, had the hat on or hat off. I don't know. That's up to you, buddy. Make How you doing, John? I've been good. How you been, friend? Good. I'm working on a on a on a dog. It's a wire sculpture. This is it's very tab. cool. That's cool. Right on. Let's do some records. All right, fire it up, man. Guess goes first. I'll go first. Oh, I'm first? first? Okay, yeah. Oh, I already uh, like it. Superfly. Curse me. He is killer. He is killer. The little extra little opening yeah. thing. The tchotchkes on the albums back in the day just blow my mind. You can't <laughs> do that nowadays. The, yeah, and the pictures the and how the color lasts. We talk about that. And Curtis Mayfield, good stuff. All right. John, you're going last. I'm going last? Okay. <laughs> you want to go so bad. I'm, I'm cutting you off. No, I'll go. You go. 52, go. with you go. All right, we'll go with uh, Jimmy Buffett. Um, and a great insert, great footage, great story. Um, oh, yeah. I'm not a parent. I've never seen him before, but I'm guaranteed I'd have a great time. And it, oh, it would be a great one show. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't grab that record. I almost did. It's a double album. Come on. Going back in my collection here to this old, this old, this old release from Bob Dylan, the original first Oh, classic. Bob Dylan, Bob Dylan, when we first decided to play some music, you know. Pretty pretty good stuff, man. You're no good in my time of dying. The Man of Constant Sorrows on here. The original Soggy Bottom Boy right there. Look how young. He looks like a little boy. Like He's like, hi, just got to New York. I'm on the, the bus station. <laughs> Bob Dylan. The man. Man, His birthday's Bob. coming up this month, right? Uh, probably. Today's Bill Kreutzmann. Whose birthday, John? Bob, Bob Dylan's. Oh. In May. Today was Bill Kreutzmann's birthday. Oh, Bill Kreutzmann. I thought you said Bill Clinton. Well, I said politics. Bill. Is <laughs> 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 my turn again? You Kaya. go, Jeff. Kaya. Bob Marley. You gotta have Kaya now. Who, who's Bob Marley? He's this reggae star. Don't be a smart ass. <laughs> Besides the Grateful Dead, Bob Marley is my favorite. You know. So. Are you, are you, are you, he, he, there's nothing to be missed there. There's nothing wrong with that for sure. You can't find a Bob Marley song you don't like. No, that is true. <laughs> if you like music, okay. We're gonna go with uh, Glenn Campbell. Uh, Wichita lineman, great album, great album. Got it taped on cover, glued on cover. Excuse me. The covers glued on. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. they, they print them that way. Like, I, love yeah. mm -hmm. I got like four of them. Glenn Campbell's good. Yeah, I didn't even really notice that, John. Yeah. Well, those old albums, they had to, the covers were printed separately. I'm gonna look. Yeah, they are. I think there's some value in that. Why well, a four? Of, uh, anyway, go ahead. You're up. Great album. The Final Femmes. Blind leading. Blister leader. in the sun. Close enough. Oh, yeah. S seen them three or four times. They're up from here, up in Milwaukee. So Wisconsin. The, the picture on the back there. They're all sitting around in this weird, like, in this weird setting. You know, everybody's in there's like a baby in the background. And then you look at it for a while, and then you realize they have these giant fish on their arms. Mm-hmm. Creepy. Uh, Gordon, Ga Gordon Gano. Gano. Oh. Yeah, Milwaukee, Wisconsin original. I think. Yeah, Milwaukee, uh, Milwaukee Fest. Milwaukee, Milwaukee something. They announced their lineup. Real. I'm sure you've done this one. I'm sure you've done this one. Eat a peach. Almond mm, butter. No. It's actually my album. I don't, I don't have that album. I have all most of the album, Almond Brothers. Oh, Mine the is. cover, here it is, man. Yeah, I know. 
I'm trying to get that as close as possible. My favorite live band until something changes. Oh, yeah. The Almond Brothers. Yeah, okay. Easy, easy, easy pick, but that's my band when it's like. Pat Benatar. Oh, you know Pat awesome. Benatar. She's wickedly awesome. I heard her today on uh, WXRT, and she's got a voice and she can rip her guitar. And the band was killer. So just by showing that picture, Benatar. just by showing that picture of her, I'll have "Love Is a Battlefield" in my head for the next ten years again. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Love is a battlefield. How about this one? I really like the back of this one because it's got this really cool design around the outside edge of it. That's what pulled my eye. Indian I tattoo. Um, yeah, yeah. Just kind of a, a nice. That, that Henna. Henna ish. Kenny Rogers, the gambler. Kenny Rogers. Look at that scene. Look at her eyes right behind Kenny. I like the background. I get, yeah, I love what that. I think she's saying to Kenny Rogers in his ear. Oh, hit me with your best shot. <laughs> <laughs> you got to know when to hold him, brother. <laughs> it sucks though. I got this record out this week. It was me like put bubblegum on the actual gambler track. So wherever this came from, they hate the gambler song so much they ruined it on the album intentionally. Yeah. Go figure. Oh, it's it's all right though. The rest of the album's mediocre. It's Kenny Rogers. <laughs> all right, Jeff. Los Lobos. Los Lobos. Uh, by the light of the moon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very awesome. killer. They're, they play a lot up in this. I've, area. I've actually seen the most. Like I've seen them like quite a few times, and I and I I got to be backstage and, and have a conversation with David Aldago. Nice. Okay. I drank beer backstage with him one time. But I was too chicken to talk to any of them. I, I I didn't want to talk to him either. But the the guy that didn't know him, the the guy that was working backstage. Uh, started talking to him and goes, hey, are you in the band? No, he said, no, he said, hey, will the wolves survive? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sister Sledge. <laughs> All right. Name this band, name this band. Uh, Dan Fogelberg and John Cafferty. Come on, there's no, there's no name on the cover. Anybody know? Anybody know? We're gonna go with uh, those guys. Ozark Martin Daredevils. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, I like the cover, and I, I got to see him back in the late '70s, early '80s. Uh, That's the third Ozark Mountain record we've had on here, and they have great album covers. Is that the third time I've done it? No, but I did that Car Over the Lake album, and I did, and then you did another one, or somebody else did another one. Yeah. All right, so this is another one because of a cool painting on the cover, but I just love this. It's a good album, the Honeysuckle Rose album, the Lee Nelson movie. Oh, I have that one. I think the painting on the front is so awesome. I mean, that's a cool painting somebody made of the bus. I remember watching that movie when I was a kid and thinking, I'm going to live on the road someday in a bus. There's no way I can't do that. No, that's probably you said we were getting a train. That was the turning point for me. Was the, was the now it's a bus. It's got a million pictures from the movie, and there's probably a, a bunch of stuff inside of it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Two records, Willie Nelson and Family, one of my favorite bands, Billy Nelson. Spilly Nelson? All right, this is the last one, I guess. E oh, yeah. oh, I know that band. It's a good record album cover game. Copy that. I'm trying to hold it. You know, you know me. The first time we came on here, I, I dropped it. The original band. Yeah. Uh huh. Ben's the leader of the band. Always has been. Yep. Great stuff. Make me go last tonight. That's crazy. All right. You just love the cover. Even though I, I don't know how to dance, but square dancing, and you're going to be at Hartford, John. I'm sure there's going to be some square dancing and. Nice, nice. Uh, square dance. Good thing the dance dance theme because if anybody can guess my last album, I'll give a prize. If you could guess my last album after your square dance album, I'd like to see somebody try to guess. My oh, I know. Should I tell? You can guess. John Hartford. You told me beforehand. Got something to do with dance. Write me real quick and I'll tell you the answer and then you can win the prize. But it'll cost you twenty bucks. <laughs> no. Go ahead. Oh, I know. That's it. 
<laughs> Whoa. Flash dance. What a feeling. <laughs> Keep I remember watching that when I was a, I was like one of the first VHS tapes my parents saw when I was a kid, you know. <laughs> Why the <laughs> Bad movie? It contains such tracks as Romeo and Seduce Me Tonight. And of course, the big hit, Flashdance, what a feeling. <laughs> Flashdance, folks. You know what? That's five records. Hey, Jeff nice Black. It's really good to see you, Jeff. Thank you for coming back on the show. Yeah. You you. You can tune in, yeah. So glad to be having you a friend, man. Thank you. Right. Peace. Have hey, fun John, in California. Yeah, go swim in the pool, man. Illinois sucks sometimes. He's in California. Where's he from, Fresno? Uh, near Fresno, yeah, near Fresno. He's by the beach. He's going surfing. So I've been wanting to show that. Uh, he, he's going surfing. I got after the show for real. I have to go cover my because I planted tomatoes and pepper. I got to cover because we got a frost warning out here in Aurora, Illinois. What it's not Mother's crazy. Day till Sunday, brother. What? It's not Mother's Day till Sunday. Frost warning. My plants are gonna frost. Oh, okay. What did I tell you two weeks ago? Go back and watch the show when I said don't plant until after Mother's Day. Hey, what the hell do you think you are, Farmer's Almanac or something? Hey, I did what I did. I, I risked it. I got a... Do you have any questions for our first guest when he comes in? Do we have a guest? Uh, the fellow from Brainchild, the guitar player, Roy Ponce. Oh, the guy from France, Ponce. Ponce, hey. Oh, Dr. And Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, the guy from Brainchild. Yeah, I like that band. He's a good band. <laughs> <laughs> hey. There's our good friend Roy. Hey, Roy, how are you, bud? Good. Am I right on time? Is this 420, bro? You're right on point, Roy. Hi, buddy. 420. <laughs> My mom, but it's 420 in Illinois, so enjoy your 420s if you can. 420 time, man. I was going to play Mary Jane for you guys. Mary Go for Jane. it. Rip it. <laughs> I'm in love with the Mary Jane. <laughs> how, you guys, how you guys been, right? Really good, really good, Roy, really good. Fantastic. Uh, missing m missing live music. Uh, missing... Um, eh. <laughs> We're doing what we can, and um, live music is coming uh, back in full force real fast. Festival-wise. I, I miss you guys. I miss uh, you. I miss your uh, shredding. Um, I like when you play faster. Ha, <laughs> ha, You remember that one? <laughs> yeah. I need to warm yeah. up. I was just, I was teaching lessons, and uh, I taught lessons. And then I got, we're going to do this, and then I got to go to a gig like right after this. So I need to warm up anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, I remember we were at a festival, and I remember you coming afterwards and saying some guy on, um, behind the stage told you to, uh, for you and your band to play faster. Yeah, he said something like, I think it was the last time I was talking to you guys about it, too. Um, yeah, I don't know if we should say the, fu yeah, go ahead. It was the owner, I think, and he comes up and all he says is, you guys are losing them, the crowd. I'm like, it's a festival. You can't lose the crowd. <laughs> it's like they're going to go back and forth to the camp. And then he goes, you got to play some faster stuff. And then we ripped Johnny Be Good. I was like, is that, good? Is that fast enough for you? <laughs> Roy, yeah. do, you have, do you have your original sound on on your Zoom settings? I don't know what is up. Is it the volume is off a little bit. You're, you're, a, little, you're a little muffled. Okay, we'll get uh, let me see. I can take these off. Let's see if this will work without these. That work? Yeah, that's wonderful. If you can hear us, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. You sound that's great. Better. That's, that's much better. Yeah. Right, sweet. Better to me too, because I don't like these headphones. I just want to make sure before we got anywhere with you doing any pickleating or whatever, I want to make sure that we can hear what you was up to there, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Roy is one of my yeah, favorite. I was, just, I was just saying, like, uh, 
we, when we ripped Johnny Be Good, that was then you guys liked Johnny Be Good. You're like, oh, I'm stoked that you did that. So, yeah, man. If that guy would have never been like, play something fast, we probably wouldn't have played that Johnny Be Good version. Yeah. <laughs> no, but anyway, Roy's, um, Roy's one of my favorite guitarists in the area, anywhere. I've seen a lot of music, and I don't know, he's got a different edge, different vibe. <laughs> Uh, just a whole stage presence. Uh, thank you, Roy Ponce from France. Yeah, as so John kind of, said, it was kind of perfect timing. That you got, it was kind of perfect timing that you got a hold of me today, Roy, because I was doing this video today where I went through all the shows and pulled out the audio from a whole bunch of tracks, a whole bunch of music. Like, I went through every show that I had, and I remember you played on our show one night. For okay. some reason, I missed your performance in this stack of videos, and I was going through. <laughs> list. I was like, man, Roy's on this list, but I know he was there. So then you, you call. You gotta, you gotta get an exclusive song that I've only played like once or twice for anybody. So I just, I just, I just wrote this tune. I was watching like Popeye, the first episode, like 1920s, and it was like salt, the Sultan or whatever, you know, Alibaba's in the Forty Thieves or some shit like that. And every time it came on, there was that weird scale, like. Uh, kind of stuff so i made this song up uh and i was like it's probably should be like arabian nights or some shit like that so i here it is i'll play it for you guys so you'll have some footage now okay here it is <laughs> shred on top of all that stuff too <laughs> does that sound weird or what i love it i love that i, I love those little those little melodies like that you know like like it, popeye especially because like sailor's horn pipe yeah. and that kind of stuff is there's oh, it was e egyptian and then it turned jazz at the end and i dig yeah. that i dig that a lot so my girl katie like she hears me play all for like 15 years she's been hearing me play and she said she, when she came home and I was playing that, she's like, I've never heard anything like that before. I was like, yeah. all right, and then I, I did it, you know? It was on. And it sounded was like there was more than one person playing in the room. That's the yeah. sound of it, yeah. And I was playing it at the shop that I work at, and everybody there was like, they turned their heads and was like, what the fuck is that sound? That's some weird scale or something. I was like, it's like Phrygian dominant-ish, like melodic minor modes type of sound you know i like that weird sound exactly. when's, bra when's brainchild or any of your projects out there coming about? man we are getting i'm getting booked with like my friend allison hannah's band and then i'm getting booked with another band called fanny ray and the soul shakers and then i'm getting booked with somewhat of brainchild we're trying to like okay that's the only thing hard. i know it's kind of hard to like book us other than like festivals right now. Uh, okay. But we're playing like this homegrown festival coming up in May, at the end of May. And I think we have some other dates that we're gonna release out, but obviously with a summer camp, if that happens. And then like, we'd love to get on other stuff. Uh, I'm just like getting swamped right now. Cause everybody's, you know, when things are, the ball starts to roll, then it's everybody wants to, book a festival or do something so everything's happening right now so i should have like a list and now like i'll post it for you guys to see when break that sounds so great the home, homegrown music fest is like i think an hour away from peoria so it might be closer to you guys i'm not sure i can't remember exactly where it is yeah. <laughs> I'm the worst at that stuff dude uh, excuse me roy hey john take off the goggles there's three goggles going back and forth between the two paintings you know that it's just come on it's like you're moving back and forth and back and forth it's like yeah what what are you doing john I'm just nice feel, nice it feels way too high for 420 to deal with that 420 and a half 
Yeah, nice al- nice album behind you, Roy. Yeah. What was that? Nice album behind you. Is that an uh, art? That's a, that's a Schofield poster from Uber. No, the, the the record right behind you. Um, oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Which one is that? Yeah. That's a brainchild. What I'll show you guys. The, the, the original Roy Parks recording is still available out there in the in the archives of the Phil and John Zone. But I watched 52 episodes of Phil and John Zone today. It, and it's funny, you know, I'm, I'm the one who painted them, and sometimes I don't remember. I'm gonna go, wow, I painted that. It says you Camp Therapy on that one. Yeah. John, do you, do you do you paint something and forget you paint it when you see it later? Yeah, there's a painting in my brother Joe's house that I saw, and I couldn't remember, it. and I, I I knew it was mine. I signed it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's like when people say, "Oh, I saw you at this show," and I'm like, "I don't remember playing that show." At all. Well, <laughs> it's different for a musician, I think. No, it's the same. It's the same. It is. It is the same. It, it is. It is. It is. It is. There is no you difference. Guys, you guys are artists. I think art and music is pretty the same. You know, you can't really. It like, is. It is. It is. You can't win at that. You just gotta keep going with it. Well, you know, usually at a festival. We're at a festival where most musicians are not. They have to go or boogie where we're there for the whole festival. So that's why I like, I know where your guys' spot is. So I can go there whenever I get a freaking break. Yep. We enjoy one of our services we provide is a, is a you know, safe place for musicians to go in between the sets. You know, we have a little back room area. We've got like some chairs to sit in. Sometimes. As soon as you see me, you're like, oh, here's the booze. Here's the beer. Here's this. Here's that. I'm like, there. Oh, sweet. And it makes your spot, it makes people want to go to your guys' spot even more. <laughs> it, it, yeah. <laughs> we're not booze necessarily, folks, but um, just a real. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you know, maybe two out of ten do. You know, people walk by and they go, I ain't going over those guys. But, you know, it's, it's nice for you to stop by. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, Fest, yeah. I got my RV pass for Shoe Fest today. And we're going to, have you guys ever played Shoe Fest, Roy? Yeah, we played oh, a couple yeah. times on the main stage. And then we played a couple times on the other stage on the, uh, across the bridge yeah and then i played there with uh who did i play there with 56 hope road like how to end like a, uh all the members from the past with greg fundus that was killer yeah that was a crazy one i got to play with those guys and yeah but yeah he played sweet us the whole bunch that we played it with the spirit before and i played i sat it with old shoe probably there and oh, all the, spirit, the last shoe fest you spirit played didn't they yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. That, was the, that was the last time I was there, I think. And then yeah, uh, yeah. I'll try to get up, I'll try to get up there somehow this year, you know. Yeah. I'll, I'll call somebody and be like, let me jump on. <laughs> well, no lineups are out yet that I know of. I have all the all the posters from every year all around my room right now. I no, brought them up just looking. That place is awesome. Whatever tickets they had available pretty much sold out this morning as long as they released yeah. this morning. Yeah. The campgrounds, the music, the vibe. I mean, a lot of people have been to other fest. It's just something about you fest. I don't know. I'm glad I to know. be a part of it. It's it's just like everybody's like a family there. All the bands that like are on tour, they play with each other one and one and one. Well, yeah, and I mean, that's all there. I mean, it's it's like summer camp, right? For you, yeah. You, you, yeah. Like, I've never been to more, summer it's, camp. It's like more intimate though, because summer camp. Kind of bigger, fact, you know, it's like the so. core, the little core group of, of that kind of threw the summer camp thing outward, like right, right. Like Vanessa and, and Matt and those guys. They were they've always been involved with summer camp too. A shoe fest is like yeah. small, for sure. more condensed. They do it right. They do it right too. I love that. Yeah, yeah. And the music doesn't overlap. You got time to get to the bands and get a beer and, and, and yeah, it's, it's so good. You could and space out. It's, it, the creek. You know, just think about it. Shoe Fest yeah. is happening. I mean, it was kind of over. I didn't really realize. I enjoy it thoroughly. I get, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's like a vacation that we missed last year, and now it's back, and it's pretty, pretty dope. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy this year. I was thinking, mm-hmm. like, how is it? How is it? How how is our friends gonna take it? Are they gonna like? just raved out like the first day and like by the end of the festival everybody's dead because <laughs> everybody wants to party so bad <laughs> well I Thursday night ragers so tired they can't go to the stage <laughs> well you're younger I'm older I know how to pace nowadays you know but I, it, it was just I was thinking like man people are ready to go man it has been so long 
Yeah. I played on like a big stage and had the crowd going, like, you know, late nights and all that stuff. But oh, wait. Yeah. Wait. I'm doing quite a few, and so is John. Um, big ones coming up. Yeah. If we could talk, we could talk about them, John. John Hartford Festival. Yeah. Um, Blue Ox, we're doing. We're doing a lot of festivals. Um, Blue Ox in Wisconsin. Yeah, that's good. That's a really Roy, you'd enjoy it there. If, if you came out to pick with everybody, you'd have so much fun playing with everybody that plays. I mean, you, it's such a cool environment. It's nothing better for the guitar player to can go out there and play with, any, with people. I mean, with anything that you hear, you know, it's so much fun. So there's just like cats running around like from campsite to campsite with all different instruments. Oh, there's there's a bluegrass band every ten feet. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, that. And like in the last few years, it's gotten the it, you know it's kind of started off strictly bluegrass and it's it evolved and the jam really built up in it and the jam bluegrass became big a bigger part of it, and the younger kids are coming and they're introducing their music to the bluegrass style. So you've got bands playing like Cracker songs and Counting Crows songs, but with the bluegrass style. I even heard a, I heard a Misfits song played uh, with a bluegrass in a bluegrass setting. You know, and it did was, it sound did it sound good? Yeah, it was die 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 my darling. You know. Wow, but but they but they just took it and they just played bluegrass style. You know, they put the chords over here and they did this way. You know, and if you if um, we're only being in there and jump in and play, then almost everybody's welcome. You know, it's a pretty cool situation. Yeah, and like people don't know that. Like people ask me all the time, like, how do you like? I'll switch the song up. Like I did. Um, they just don't know you can play the song in every genre. A song that like any genre you can do it. And like what I did was the. I was messing around one night and my friend, uh, Bob Kelly, he's a drummer. And he was like, oh, you got to keep doing that because it was awesome. And I was like, dude, that was a joke. And I was like, it smells like Teen Spirit. But then I did it Latin jazz. I was like. Then I go. And then yeah, they were like, yeah. fucking, it was hilarious. Um, but they, people, most people don't know that you can like do any song, a different genre, and it just switches it all, the vibe up, you know? Nirvana really helped that by doing those unplugged shows and showing that you could take the craziest, loudest story rock and put it yeah. into an acoustic instrument. And it sounds good and it feels good. It feels the same way, even better, a little bit, some of it, you know? Um, right. And that, then, then you learn the, like, like what they call a crossover, right? Where you take a song and pull it like that and put it something else. It, it's amazing. And that's where the best stuff comes from. Right. And that album like changed my life and probably everybody else's life. I, I unplugged. Yeah. It was like right when I got a guitar, I was like, oh man, I love this stuff. It was, a, it was, a, it was a, you know, Nirvana came out and there was a, a turn in the road and people went this way with Nirvana for a while. And then Nirvana did unplugged and there was another turn in the road. You yeah. Know? All in awesome. they changed and it was okay and then so people decided that and it sent me off into a world of acoustic music you know that i never would have, would have approached and i also changed it too i mean yeah, me too. yeah me too like i remember did they come out with muddy banks of the wish car like after kurt died probably i really? think so because that was like when i got into it like right after he uh, died and then like that one changed my life too because it was so raw like live nirvana i love that that's like a that's like a serrated knife edge that that album is it's it's it's, uh, it's so awesome yeah, it's, it pumps me up and like i haven't even listened to it probably in like five years and i still am getting pumped right now but like, talking about it Kurt Cobain's awesome. three guys and kurt played guitar that's yeah, pretty sick i don't sad. know if they had that on that album but it was awesome yeah you know studio I, stuff I, is yeah. most of the early stuff was just the three guys the trio and, and kurt was playing upside down backwards taught himself all this stuff i mean he was well, you, you know it's quite amazing studio albums and i'm sure you guys know and it probably blow people's minds if you don't know most of the studio albums by bands are not really the band it's studio musicians who do it yeah. guys like roy who can play anything you know yeah, but Nirvana recorded their shit Right, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I imagine those three early, guys. Those early sub pop albums. There weren't a lot of sub pop studio musicians. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> they've rolled just around. You know, I'll play on. You know, well, of course. Then you look at uh, Soundgarden and Pearl Jam and Matt Cameron, and he was basically like a trade-off drummer who created up in both. Yeah. 
He's good as fuck too. That is. I mean, like Steely Dan. You think it's it's Becker and Fagan, and then just like fifty musicians no, no. playing. Steely Dan would have. have they would pay about a hundred guitar players just to come on and solo over their songs or play the chords, and then they would for sit part of a song. Out which one to, to to put on the album? Yeah, yeah. yeah we, so you, we all got paid, but they don't know who's going to be on the album. Right. And I asked uh, their drummer on the Live in America album, Dennis Chambers. We were playing with him and Victor Wood at the Canopy, and I asked Dennis Chambers, "You're on that album, and you flipped up Josie." When Josie comes home, you know, he did it in halftime. And I, I was like, did they say anything to you? Because they're like real sticklers about their songs. He was like, no. I was like, because you're Dennis Samuels from Parliament Funkadelic. That's why. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's uh, uh, the Steely Dan was really particular about a bunch of things, I think. And that was kind of what took him apart. Took him apart. Yeah. I mean, they have so many notes that stop and go. And that's what I like about music. Do, 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 do. I mean, it, it's so precise. Yeah, it's man, like hitting a piano song. key, and it's like a guitar note. And I, I don't know how to play a lick. I don't know a note, but they have some kind of hook that catches you, Steely Dan and musicians. Yeah, and like, everybody that. says it's like uh, too soft and too all this, but I'm like, man, that stuff's tight. It's got funk. It's got like the jazz chords that I like. Layers. And like I said, like I don't even know how to play those songs because I was in a band. And they used to try to play those, and I'm like, man, I would learn it and then just like forget it. It was so hard. I, I didn't really like it. <laughs> I didn't like to play it, but I like to listen to it. Yeah, it's too hard. <laughs> it's kind of like mind jazz or some shit like that. <laughs> it's weird. My dad, my dad played it when I was growing up. Man, Steely Dan was one of his records. He always went back to. So there was always uh, Countdown to Exodus. He was playing constantly, and Can't Buy a yeah. Thrill playing constantly. Those albums were always in rotation. I mean, Can't Buy a Thrill is still one of my favorite albums of all the time. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, Peg just always gets me. Uh, Asia, Peg. The song yeah, Peg. Asia, I'm, that's the one. Yeah. yeah. Just a simple player. cover, the black cover, and but the song Peg off that yeah. album. It's just, it just, yeah. It, it's See, it's like AM I... radio's uh, music back in the day, but it, it word well, what, 40 years later? 40 years. Yeah. yeah, all their tunes are tight. I didn't even get into them until like my girls listened to them all the time, and then I was like, "Oh, this shit is tight, actually." And I bought her that Live in America album with Dennis Chambers on it, and uh, I was like, "Dude, this is so good." Um, did I? But I never you? learned this shit. <laughs> Playing a gig tonight, Roy? Did you say? Yeah, I gotta go here in a little bit, but I'm not trying to rush. All right, you better practice right now. What are you gonna play for us? I don't know. I was thinking about that. Let's do some. Um, how about some? I can do some. I'll do some real old right here. Let's try this. All right. Roy Ponce. Roy Ponce from Brush Island, my friends. Yeah, let's do this one. This will be cool. I was trying to show you the guitars. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All those, all those mistakes. I'm sorry, sorry, I was messed it up. Every time you, every time you did a mistake, they they went choppy in the internet, so we couldn't hear any of it. It was perfect. <laughs> I'll do one more for you too before I go. That's great. Uh, what do you guys got going on tonight? You show at home or what? Um, we're, I'm doing this, and then I've got I'm doing that premiere of the video on YouTube later on, which is just going to be a share for. It's going to go on YouTube later, but um. I don't know how you didn't come up in the, the, the lineup. Your video is still out there. It still exists. I just went through 52 videos today. So like 70 hours of video, you know, and, and missed you somehow in the mix. I don't know. And that's funny that I'd never get a hold of you. And today I get a hold of you. And then you got a hold of me and it all, it was perfect circle. Perfect circle. It was an omen. I was trying to get Jake over here to uh, do this with you, do this with me. And then he, he had to work. So he's going to pick me up in a little bit. Uh, let me play this one more song for you guys. Right on, right. Go Please, for it. Right on. Thank you. This one's more shreddy. The other one, you guys probably didn't think I was going to play that tune, did you? Did you think I was going to play that tune? <laughs> it's, it's like my mom's favorite song in the whole universe. You know, when she grew up, she missed her, you know, Sandman, Mr. Postman. That was sort of the era. Other days coming up, that was perfect. There you go. This one's called Roy's Boogie. I just like. It's just like a jazz blues, and I just messed around. Maybe played it last time for you. I'm not sure. All right, here I go. Turned up. Reverb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
that is awesome, Roy. I knew that Phil wanted me to play fast. But that's why no, I that, that <laughs> flashbacks of uh, my early days of uh, listening to some great jazz, I call it, a few with Buddy Rich and Al Dumiola and uh, Hal Russell at the Jazz Festival in Chicago at Grant Park. Um, just some killer, killer... Um, I'm a big jazz guy, and it, that, that's what a re- flashbacks of many, many good times. Great stuff, Roy. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having me, guys. And um, next time, I'm going to do, do it proper, so we, like me and Jake will be... Well, that was here. proper. Hey, gentlemen, right, I see him, too. Um, as Trinity Watson just said, yay. Hi, Roland Ronaldo. Uh, <laughs> okay. Ronaldo, Ronaldo? Yes. Yeah. Well, you know... Well, you know, basically, the next time I want to see you is in person because I'm not really into the Zoom stuff. Yeah, we're over there. I know, right? Let's do it. Let's so, do it, Roy. I'll, I'll send you guys those dates if I ever get that sheet going. As soon as I get all my stuff, uh, we'll do a Peoria. We'll do a cruise down there somewhere. And, uh, all right, cool. I need some more of these, man. Well, you got to play some more. That's a really I need the melting, the melting head oh. pop. That's so good, Phil. Yeah. Huh. I like the one that was, you you made like one with a banana, like the uh, what was that, Velvet Underground, or something like that. Right, that right, cool. right. Mm-hmm. All right, I love you guys. I gotta go. You're the best. Love you, Roy. Yeah, I'm kind of. All right. Uh, thanks for playing. Have a great set tonight. And uh, tell Jake I said hello. And uh, love Brainchild and all your projects. Roy Pont, say in the house, RP. Love you, you, Roy. Ding, 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 ding. Rules in session, Phil. Let's see. Is he he froze? So, what do you think so far, Phil? Your review of the first hour of the program. Average as always. Will you quit? Take the goggles off, man. I'm just teasing you. I'm teasing. I let the people decide. I'm teasing. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing. Well, hello, everybody. Um, yeah, that was fantastic. I love. I love jazz. I love Roy's guitar. He, I think he could play anything. He's got, uh, you know. I see him in various bands. I like his punk edge. I like his yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. We've had some of my favorite musicians um, locally, um, festival, I don't know. Um, yeah. I'm a very happy captor after one year. 52 weeks, John. Yes, thank you. 52 weeks. Times 100 bucks a show. That's like a lot of money. <laughs> 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 There's a, a fellow from Springfield that wants to play blues harmonica on the show. Um, I'm sending the link out now. I think. Um, but, but, you know, uh. <laughs> Wait a minute. The other guest is on the way. Okay. No, no. So um, gonna, gonna have, okay. Okay. Talk about what. Talk about what's coming up. What, what what's uh, what, you know your social plans? Are you private? And I can tell and announce where we're going, what we're doing, where we're gonna be at, where you're gonna be at, where I'm gonna be at. We're gonna be at places. We're gonna be at. We're gonna be at a couple places. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, we're gonna be in the kitchen. Going to see Sam Bush. Sam Bush from from. Is it private? Can you announce where you're going? Maybe ticket sales? Perhaps. Perhaps. Nope. Private. Private. Yeah. Private. 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 Peaceful Bang Vineyard Folk Fest. <laughs> All right, don't tell that one. You know. That's next weekend. It may not be sold out. It's uh, it's it's Sam Bush. Uh, it's got the Julian uh, experience. There. Could be sold out. That's a good one. That's a good one. It's sold out. 
I don't know. Are you looking at it right now? You're not looking at it right now. I already know where it's at. You told me. I didn't see. I have a list. The ones you can't tell and the ones you can tell. Well, tell me what you can tell. Okay. Um. Yeah, um, there's a lot of good shows. Um, Mackie's Hideout's having a good show. Um, John did the artwork for the High Hawks, I do believe, up at uh, Mackie's Hideout. John? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's going to be a good show. Uh, uh, with uh, Miles Over Mountains, uh, Wise Jennings, and, um, 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 and Craig Bauman and The Story. Seen all the bands, except High Hawks. Um, good friends with uh, all three of the bands backing up the High Hawks. And we've had three of the gentlemen from the High Hawks on the show. Quite amazing, John. You know, Vince, what are you looking at so confused? You know, I'm confused. I'm seeing many, many goggles and many, many black hairs sagging all over like you're just saggy bottom airplane pilot or something. What the hell? Are you waiting for a steamboat to come down the road? No, I was looking at the same but it doesn't appear to be sold out. I'm not sure. Anyway. Yeah, see, talking. yeah, you're going to get into your soul. Yeah, okay. They're all going to be not- Where's that at, John? <laughs> ding, 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 ding. They'll ding, be wearing ding. goggles. Mm, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, that's the Musical Bed Vineyards Film Festival. It's in Missouri. I, I'm not sure. I was invited as a guest to help with the artwork. I'm also friends with the person who owns the vineyard. So, it's a whole. It's kind of like that birthday party with Vince Herman last year, about this time, whenever we went to that birthday party with Vince, and there was all those balloons everywhere, and, um, um. (laughs) 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 We gotta keep this train rolling. I don't know what's gonna happen next, um. (laughs) Well, I have a list of things I'm waiting for you to go. <laughs> the weather's it the weather it's fifty two degrees outside and sunny. Look out for the forecast. How's everybody morales? Everybody got morales? Uh, so I got a list of things. Questions nice. and, Chicago Farmers at the D Still Brewery and he's going to the Back to the Folk Tour shows. That's night. That's something I did. That's I'm not gonna be there. I'm not even sure where it's at. Distilled How can you when you're right here? I'm doing my show and I'm gonna do that premiere and it's gonna be a the whole ordeal. This is a hard job. You have another show? I need a vacation. <laughs> You're going on vacation? Maybe. Are you paying for my Yeah, vacation? maybe. Yeah, maybe it's right. <laughs> to Aurora. I come to a vacation to Aurora. How about that? <laughs> yeah. No. We all need a vacation. <laughs> Um, It'd be a good time to just have a surprise guest in the room. Hey, how how warm is it down by you? Is it warm or what? I know. What, did Amy kill a goat or something? She would never hurt you. Well, our special guest tonight. Is that he's... um... (laughs) Right. Easton Bishop, folks. Easton in the sunshine. How are you, Easton? Ah, I've seen better days, but I'm doing oh well. Okay, how are you? This is our, 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 com- our complaint department. Easton, Easton Bishop, folks. How are you, Easton? What's going on, man? Hey, hey, Easton, you need a break line? I need a break line. God damn it. I was at a stoplight taking my daughter to school, and my the pedal went to the floor. All oh. right? So I'm like, I can get my daughter to school. All right, I can do this. So I finished it off. Uh, got the car back home. <laughs> Apparently, I can't get into my mechanic till the 21st. That kind of upsets me. Okay, we are live, and don't give me your address, please. You're in Springfield. <laughs> right, right. Don't get... You're in Springfield. I'll try to get a hold of my friend Jimmy. Maybe we'll make a road trip. Um, you need a mechanic before that. That's way too long to wait, man. I know, right? So... Uh, so I called the baby mama and I said, Hey, can I drive your car for a while? Uh, she said, yes. So I got her car for a while. I see. So, Procure another vehicle. Yes. It's easy for you. Ethan, you got some kind of ingenuity. I do. I do. I do. I wish my yard did a better job mowing itself. Kind of sucks. 
Well, you know? I, I, I barely know the guy, Eason, but I kind of do now. I know he, he sucks at hoops, but he's got a, he could get, he's always in a happy, uh, I got shot 17 times, but I'm okay. He's always in that <laughs> happy-go-lucky. You know, the brake line went out. Well, I'm okay. I'll be all right. Yeah. Lost quick my game. leg, but I'll still run. When you, get knocked, when you get knocked down, you got to get back up, right? I coach, I coach soccer. I help assistant coach baseball. Okay, get back up. Get hey, back John, up. Can't do this. Gotta live that. You know what I mean? Did you just make a squeeze toy sound, Phil? No, that was your dog. You have a dog, unless you left it in the window too long and closed the window. He's Wait a minute, John. You're not teaching Phil how to use computer stuff, are you? Nah, he, no. He should have to run the show at some point, but... You know, I could if I had to, but I choose not to. If 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 I was forced to, I don't like the word forced, but... Right, I You put me in a room, I could do it. I could do anything, but I choose not to. Wait you get older, then you're going to choose a lot of different things differently. I don't really have to. I don't want to. And those goggles are killing me. Hmm. I wish I, I so wish I could kill this possum with a bow on live Facebook right now. I have I really a possum do. underneath I've been all day. Neck. You probably would have to probably get cut. Like you can't do that on TV. Possums are actually good for you. They look ugly, but they won't bite you. They do climb. They are nocturnal, but if you see them in a tree at daytime, doesn't mean they're rabid like a raccoon. If you see a raccoon daytime, they're sick. Wait, uh, I heard possums are good for you. Possums are good. We have one in our backyard. Uh, they're good for you, like how? Like the protein or the the what? <laughs> Can you eat them? Part of the possum do you eat? I'm sure some. I'm not going to eat the son of a gun. You just said it's good for you. No, 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 it's good. No. No, 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 it's good for the habitat, bugs and what it eats, and it, it, it's good for the environment. I don't know. Protein. It is. is. No, it is. No, it is. It really is. Yeah. Still would be funny if I shot one in the middle of the day. Hey, wait, 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 wait. There's no killing. There's nothing, none of that on, on our show. No, 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 no killing, no maiming, no stabbing, no gutting. No slitting of the throat, none of that. There's no stabbing. I didn't get the rules of this. This isn't blood pool. There's rules. We're gonna put you on an episode of Saw. Mm -hmm. People don't stick around. They're gonna mess out tonight. Easton's gonna sing a song for us. Easton? Did anybody see the meteor showers? Is that a band? Where do they play at? What? It's not a name of a band. Where in the hell do you live? I don't know. I listen to a lot of bands with weird names. You know, I find it I find it just strange because I'm in the middle zone. I call that. Uh, I don't, I'm outside of Chicago, but I know people down south and towards Wisconsin. Where I'm closer to Wisconsin, actually, than you. And, but a lot of people don't know each other, and it's funny. I always thought everybody knew each other. You know? It's like when you went to Mackey's. Everybody had your poster, but they didn't know who in the hell you were. Remember we went Summerstown? That Sometimes was pretty well. I don't know who I am. I don't, I don't, I don't you know, frequent some Well, now they're going to call you John Hartford, dude. Do with the goddamn stuff. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't on your shirt, is that where you went to college? On your shirt? Excuse me? Your shirt, is it before you went to college? CB, CBGBs? Or is that, no, it's CBGBs. That's those things that you get CBDs, like on TV. The bar. There's a great, there's a whole bunch of great documentaries on um, Amazon Prime about about the uh, CBGBs. Yeah, I've seen a couple. I saw a remake, but it was good. You know. Yeah. All right, Blues harmonica player back out. He's not going to be on the show apparently, so that's all right. Dang it. Well, so, so, so. Yeah, I, I like the footage. I, I I've been to a lot of bands, uh, hey. bars in the city of hey, Chicago yeah. that are back over here. Here. Were you chasing the possum or your kid? <laughs> I'm into the neighborhood animals now. All right. 
Uh, some of them I like, some of them I don't. Uh, I some like of them that. need to watch your ass. <clears throat> you know, uh, something I'm into today, I don't. I, I probably won't be into it tomorrow, uh, but today I am. Mm -hmm. um, you get any more rails down there, John or Eason? You, you, you know. Oh, I haven't even been. No. Any what? If I eat one mushrooms. Or two, yeah. Did you go did you go to Kroger's or Casey's and get mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not why I'm giggling. No, it's something to do with mushrooms. <laughs> Are you eating mushrooms right now, John? John, slow down. It's not popcorn. Quit no, eating those. <laughs> no, I'm not. The, I didn't go morel hunting either. I These friends. little things like that you don't eat have friends. <laughs> <laughs> quit eating the mushroom spell god damn it i have friends that go morale hunting but i don't go morale hunting i have i have good morale <laughs> like i believe i'm a good person i have good morales <laughs> 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 There's plenty of mushrooms around. All I gotta do is go down the street and talk to your neighbor. You can get mushrooms. I like hunting them though. It's like it's like golfing, you know what I mean? It's like when you find a golf ball in the woods. It's like, oh yes, it's a free golf ball. You know, I found a morale. You know? It's like, all right, yes. <laughs> I've never been real hunting. I like to go hiking in the woods, man. If you want to come with me hiking and you find all the mushrooms, you can keep them all, man. I like the hiking part. I like looking at the ground. I'm good at that. So I'm game for if you got some good farmland over there in the Decatur area, which you do, John. Uh, I'll stare at the ground and I'll find us some mushrooms. Do you, can you I, find any farmland? Uh, I think so. Uh, usually they're next to the field. Uh, most I ever found in one spot was 137. I'll never forget it. Uh, freaking, uh, yeah, just walk up next to the fields, uh, go down to the gullies, you know, where the hollers are, and go down there, just walk around, see if you can find some. <laughs> What, what, Phil? You don't think that's funny? I got jokes for days. We got a timer on Phil. It's 5.06 right now, so in about 25 minutes, we're going to judge his, his uh, cognitive abilities. Um, see what he's got left in there. <laughs> I'm, 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 my uh, girlfriend's ETA is 5.46 <laughs> on showing up at my house. So she sent me the message. It's time for sports, then. I think it's time for sports. With Phil and Easton. Oh, Phil and Easton Sports Minute brought to you by Kale Pepsi Two minutes. and Baby Mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Phil. What have you been watching, Phil? Okay. You write some notes? I didn't bring any notes. I'm winging this one. Okay, I'm choking on my candy. Thank you. Um, no, go to town. All right, I'm from Chicago land, so it's going to be mostly Chicago sports. But anyway, all right, all right. Uh, NFL draft. Well, how, how does any everybody's NFL team came out? Um, Bears got Justin Fields. Um, Easton's in the archery. Um, don't shoot the camera or your eyes or the possum or your kid. Don't shoot that. Um, yeah, Bears got Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, um, number one live. Number one by the uh, Jaguars. What about Aaron Rodgers? He wants to boogie the Packers. Uh, What's the deal with that? That's weird. Um, he's playing a power trip, and that that leads to the NBA, which is a bunch of pansies playing in the NBA, sitting out every other game. Every uh, game. What a bunch yeah. of wusses in the NBA. That's I'm really tired of the NBA. Yes. Um, go college basketball. NBA it really sucks during the regular season. What a bunch of wimps. Yeah. Go LeBron and all you, yeah, okay. Um, People need to uh, buy Wish, though. I need LeBron. Every other game. 
And Tony La Russa, what? I guess I'm bitching at sports. Tony La Russa, what are you thinking with the White Sox? Oh, my Lord. If you're watching some of the games in his calls, he doesn't know the rules. What is going on with the White Sox? Cubs, I don't know how they swept the Dodgers. Go, Cubbies. Um, Cubs won today. Um, what? Cubs won today. I think it was they did? Yeah. It's, o- it's over. I saw so the final pitch. Run. It's a miracle. Well, sometimes it is a miracle that team. They're not very good. That Cub team is not very good. They're, no, they're uh, not very good. It's a weak division that they're in. I, you know, they, they could get lucky. I think, I, you know, if I had a choice, I'm, I'm not really studying it that hard. It, you know, the, the year off of the, uh, when we had this. Uh, I found that. I'm from Illinois. I've spent a lot of time in my backyard lately. And I see a lot more Cardinals out there than I do baby bears. Hey, you're not part of the sports segment, John, because you have no clue what the hell you're talking that, about. That you could extra... be in Canada when you think we're the Blue Jays or something. Hey, that gives us an extra two minutes, Phil. That's an eruption. You know, I have a mute button, too, and I do know where he lives. And I do know where that Sam Bush thing is at. So, John, you better be cool, or otherwise you might not get in because it's going to be sold out. Right. We can talk We can talk to the press, um, and uh, John will not be allowed. Yeah, the baseball, you know, uh, Albert Pujols, Pujols got sent down to the minors. Isn't that what sad? is with the White Sox, what is with the White Sox uh, players getting injured? Um, we had two of Luis Roberts. He, Sox, he so tore his tendon off his bone running from the hitting the ball to first base. Obviously, he's not warmed up, and he's too okay. cocky to warm up. How could you tear the bone off? Where's the trainer at? You know any of those stories? No, no, I don't. I don't follow. White I mean, Sox yeah, because I'm a big, I, I'm a Chicago guy. But if the uh, the two uh, key uh, players for the White Sox, one was a knucklehead play and uh, running. I guess he wasn't in shape. These are multi-million dollar athletes. Uh, Is it Jimenez or Makeda? Maybe that's why John doesn't watch sports. He just smokes. Incense. Listen, man, sports is cool, but well, I love sports. It's a it's a relaxation, but why am I so stressed? Because basically I bitch everybody. Because go sports. You're not bitching, Phil. You're doing a good job. Keep it up. <laughs> Thanks. I'm coach dad here. All right. Coach. Keep it up. Go, go, go. Um, yeah, um, so I'll go ahead and take over on the sports stuff for a little bit. That Albert Pujols thing really pisses me off. That people might actually think that he'll come back to the Cardinals. We got we don't we don't have any room for that kind of shit. His career is over. All right. Uh, when it comes to the White Sox, well, well what, what 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 in Chicago radio, which I listened to all morning long for two or many hours, is that Larusa is the coach of the White Sox. The White Sox are hurting for players. How did Albert he not played know for the Tony. Extra... He's going to come to the White Sox. How did I'm he a not Cup fan. Know the extra inning rule? You're kidding me. This is a bunch of bullshit. Seven innings, guy on second. What is this crap? They're playing girl. Excuse my. Oh. They're playing. Are they playing softball? It's make up the rules as they go in sports right now. Apparently, the only there's sports a that are real now is MMA, basketball. fighting, and boxing, and hockey. How about the Rangers game? You see that? The fighting in the first period? Oh, they dropped the gloves. Holy crap. And they said it. It was taped. I'm going to beat them. No. It was was funny. It it was brutal. These kids. You ever try? One player got suspended, I believe. At Wilson. And then, like, the general managers or part of, or some guys got fired. It it was pretty. They go, the refs knew about it. They couldn't stop it. No, you yeah, can't. can't. Let him go. And especially in hockey, you're okay. it's okay to punch somebody in hockey. Well, you can't. It's always been a rule. It's always been okay to punch. It's not somebody like you're standing. You, it's hard to punch and really connect when you're on skates because you have no leverage. So does that make it cooler? Not really. Not but really. yeah, I mean, you you if you've been to a hockey game, a good hockey game, I've been to many many Blackhawk games, which is the most exciting thing in Chicago Stadium back in the. And w- anyway, it, it's the greatest live sporting event there is for me. For excitement. Yeah. See, he gets bored and he cuts me off. Cut us off. Cut us off. The truth is, I got a few new. I, I don't care. I, just, I get bored. It's not my style. It's not my. It's not my opinion. You know, my my subject. You know, I know that, 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 that two out of three, you guys win. You could have took a nap. 
I got a couple uh, animal stories, uh, whatever subject you want to, John. Animal stories. Well, animal okay. Stories. Ethan's well, it looks like, the, looks like the neighbor over there has a new dog. Either that or the girl that he's banging uh, has a dog. Uh, one of the two, I can't tell. Uh, that's still up in the air. Uh, you know, there's plenty of cardinals around. There are a lot of cardinals. It's like high price cardinals. Any, uh, any big bears anywhere that you see? Any small bears? Baby bears? I, don't, I haven't seen any bears. Uh, I haven't seen any bears kill anybody. All right? I haven't seen any bears kill anyone. No bears, uh, no cardinals. If a bear killed somebody, though, I'd kill that bear. I swear to God, I would. Anybody been to Caputo's grocery store? Ever anybody heard of it in Chicago? These are no. macaroons. Chocolate with wafer macaroons. They're like five bucks a bag for like a 500 of them. It's the greatest thing ever with a Coke glass of milk. Chocolate with a wafer. Chocolate with a wafer. It is the I'm best thing it. ever. It doesn't sound good. Time. It is. Are you eating on the show? I think there was a rule about that. I don't care. <laughs> Fifty two, still far folks, checking in. Still John Zone, Joe's buddy Easton here on the on the drums. Cheers, everybody here, cheers. Yeah, some tips to that. Easton, you got a beer? No. When doesn't he no, have a beer? I don't, I don't drink beer. And yeah, yeah, you don't. Yeah. My uh-huh. All day. You know what? I was thinking of 50, one of my favorite bands, B 52s. B 52s. Not Love Shack, even though I did sing it at karaoke, karaoke in front of the thousands of people at the Milwaukee State Fair and got a standing ovation, me and my buddies. Nice. Um, I want to see the video of that. Me, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, me and my buddy. My buddy was the lead singer, but I did sing, and there was. I probably 1,500, 2,000 people at a karaoke contest. He was, a, yeah. And, uh, this, this is before but anyway, phone, private right? Idaho, the B-52s, really, really good early stuff. Yeah. yeah. So That's tonight, 52. Tonight, I, I, we're going to watch that video later on tonight. So we've got YouTube. 50, 50 plus videos of the musicians that have been on our show. You've seen quite a few of the shows, huh, Eason? Uh, yeah. What time is this? I mean, not it's like, show. Not I'm going to... I'm going to have to uh, put on pajamas, which I'm probably wearing now anyway, um, and get some, make some popcorn and lay in bed and watch the sh- our show. It's nothing to do with us, know. right? It's just the musicians. Mostly just the musicians. There's little tiny pieces of us randomly throughout, but very like introductions and like little, there's a few little go-betweens, but nothing major. Yeah, nothing, nothing nobody major, cares, right? Nobody cares about us, Phil. Nothing to right. make you go to have to see it. Hey, Easton, you owe us 12 bucks for coming on the show multiple times, you know. I didn't get a freaking reward to be on there the fifth time. Yeah. I might have John said, I guess just pulled up in the cul-de-sac. John said I can get a reward. Did she really? I mean, he, how do we know it's a she? I don't know. I know who it is. Let me guess. Hmm. Yeah, quick music intro on it here. Um, We're going to have a musical guest tonight, live and in the studio. I can sing well. Um, is, it, is it really, John, or no? Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, I'm going to go upstairs for uh, 30 seconds, check on my dog, make sure she's, or he's okay, and I'll be right back now. Half a break here. The banjo. Kill a possum, possum's gonna die. I don't care who you are, the possum gonna die. I'm gonna kill this possum, he's gonna raise his hand. I saw where he went this morning, and I've been watching this possum. 
Seconds is a long 30 seconds. I gave him a minute and a half, man. I know. Apparently. Well, a lot of girls say 30. A lot of guys tell girls 30 seconds, but it lasts a lot longer. <laughs> Doesn't it? Friend in the room with me that just drove to my house. It's in my house right now. Um, and JB. Well, well, well. Who is that young lady? Hey, guys. How are you? <laughs> Hello, Jenny. Hello. So good to see you. It is great to see you. It's funny. I, well, before John said that you were coming on the show, I had my Jenny B koozie, and it's upstairs just now. But anyway, it's great to see you, young lady. Good to see you. Good. 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 Just walking the door. So welcome Jenny B to the room. Yeah, I tried to listen to some of the show on the way here, but I had to listen to GPS, so I abandoned ship. So, what's been going on? No, I lied. You didn't miss anything. Hi. Didn't miss anything. Don't rewatch it. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Ethan. Yes. Yeah, you didn't miss anything. Turns out that it was a good music performance by uh, a guy from Shoe Fest, which is my favorite music festival. Uh, he did a really good job. He played electric, which it was delicious. And he can turn anything into anything. All right? It was impressive. You know? Well, um, me and Laura a couple of weeks ago listened to a Jenny B CD and uh, kind of teared up, Laura, did, that we miss uh, live music. Yeah. Thanks for listening to the CD. Got some great memories of making that CD and all the stuff John helped with. Got the hat on Andrew wore when we recorded that, I think. Uh, but, uh, Jeff Singley just asked, is that the Jenny B? Yes, it is, Jeff. Of course it is. <laughs> the Jeff Singley. Uh, it's good to see Jeff at the show tonight. Yeah, Jeff. He, if he can't hear us, probably can't hear us. But everybody say hi, Jeff. Anyway. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Yeah, his ear's been bugging him lately. He's been some time, just need some time with some loud music. Buzzing. Yes. Buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Man, man. You guys know that? Hey, hey, Jen, doesn't that room feel comfortable? Doesn't John's house make you feel like you're at home? The last time I was here, this room was a bedroom still. A teenager was still inhabiting this room. Oh, uh, really? So I okay. thought, because it was nice out and because of the, his videos, I kind of thought I was going to be going outside around back. Yeah. So, I went to his house once. He wouldn't let me in. You know. Our dogs, never, our dogs are making friends. Okay. Hey, Phil, does anybody let you in? Well, they are doing good. Not really. I, don't I mean, we only no. see each other outdoors, so. Well, no, they, yeah, pretty much at a festival, you know. I, I like it that way. I I'm a too. grumpy I old man. Wait, well, I have to bring this up. I was online trying to buy an RV pass. I had it purchased, and then I messaged somebody. <coughs> Excuse me. To Shoe Fest. Shoe Fest. You bought your RV pass? No, I lost everything. In a matter of alcohol. all right like, i was like 15 i was like 15 minutes late on purchasing all right that's a key thing uh announcement for shoe fest um get, get your rv passes um because they go like well, they're gone, they're gone. Oh. Oh. Like, you didn't get them the first day to release more tickets they said. They, right this was the first phase you got to read all the fine lines um but yeah <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, love shoe. I love shoe fest so much. We might know, know so, we me. might know people, but we can't. You know, if if, if we if we we can't get them. <laughs> no, yeah, you know, we have to get one. Yeah, we have to get them. You know. Well, if I can't, I can't work my RV. <laughs> we might well make it work out. 
get, we'll just rent the biggest RV that'll fit in a spot and bring all our friends in. Sneak Jenny B in the RV. <laughs> no sneaking. No sneaking. Again, Jenny, I'm gonna read. You are allowed. You are allowed. Old shoes. Friend of Old squeaky shoes. Yeah. I've been every shoe fest. That's pretty, uh, pretty dope. Nice, Phil. Yeah, um, but it, it's funny to say that word. We're going to shoe fest. Yeah, it, it was always a like a. Um, it's like the holiday when you were a kid. Um, yeah, it's that weekend. Yeah, and last year it wasn't, and now we're doing it again. It's kind of surreal to me. It's so one of those things. Here? You know, so it's one of those shoe fest groupies. Right, one right. of the about three thousand people who get it. We'll do it fact. Every year. If you go to Shoe Fest and it's late at night, you hear my voice every now and then. Yes, I you yell will. as loud as I can. I've been doing it for years now. Sometime uh, in the morning, you'll see Easton walking in the morning at like 9.30 or 10. He's yelling for joy. He's looking for yes. joy. He's looking for I, joy. I behave. pitch wiffle ball on Sundays at 2 o'clock. You, mu um, you must behave. There's uh, a guy uh, named Machete who might get you. No, I've never seen a machete there. Well, there's a machete. There's a machete there. You gotta watch out for both machetes. He's a good guy to know, but he is. You know. <laughs> he has a hat. Oh, you gotta you gotta do the Olympics this year too, or the uh, Adult Olympics, which I did last year. All right, I should play. Yes. I haven't been for two years. Just one year. Two All right, I, I, we're talking, and Miss Jenny B's in the house. So Miss Jenny B, what's What's um? We shouldn't steal the show from her. Where, where are you headed? Welcome are you the going theater. to uh, California or um, or uh, Alaska? Are you just cruising through Decatur or? Fishing boat in Alaska, she says. Really? Cool. Can you bring me back a lobster, please? Pretty good. Well, I don't think. A I king think. crab. I think they'd send me home in the first week. I'd be crying. Now, I've been doing some music lately, kind of uh, been playing with some guys in Peoria. Oh, yeah. I nice, Jen. I was about ready to just kind of toss in the toss in the, toss in the towel for a while. And then I just met a couple people and started playing uh, with a guy named Nick. And then for Eric, sure, Jen, keep it up. Don't stop. Don't stop. Eric started playing with us. I think you had him on the show a while ago with Richie, mm -hmm. darling. He's on the video tonight, Eric playing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Big tall. Yeah, we won't be on the show tonight, but he's in the video presentation He's been later. texting me all day. He's writing a song for a, a benefit or a project in Africa. Right? And a pro and he's also writing a song for you guys. And he wanted me to tell you he's that. Got, I got a track. That he's been working stuff. on it. So, Eric, I let them know. I think Buzz. I hope you got it right. Buzz. It is hard to keep track of everyone. Because everybody's doing so many things. Hey, I understand, Jen. You know, uh, my phone's off the hook. Not doing How many people are doing stuff? I think it might yeah. three people that maybe call me in, in the week. But. Buzz, like past tense. But it's funny because Buzz with an ED would be past tense. But like you are Buzz right now. It's present tense. <laughs> yeah, it, now is. Um, when you met a son, I didn't realize it was but he's playing hand drums for us and his nice. nickname is buzz his name's jacob jacob yeah so i've never met jacob before and i got a text from meta after we did the curia live show on monday and she's like thank you so much for taking care of my baby i'm like are you buzz trone she's like oh my god yeah but um eric is pretty good Are you going to Hartford, Jenny? I didn't have camping for last year, so I couldn't, I couldn't get tickets. Yeah, Jenny. It's not like a ticket I'm thing. You have to basically reserve camping somehow. Just, yeah, just go to Hartford. Well, well, I know you have an hour and 15 minutes set at some festival called Summer Solstice, I do believe. Well, this is true. This is true. This is a good time to announce that you, if you want to they say that for sure. Like, um, Jenny will be at Summer Solstice, June 17th and 18th, or 18th and 19th, Thanks. the weekend. I didn't know what was um, going on, but I'm always so um, honored. She's, a, she's got availability that with that day. We're going to bring her back to Summer Solstice really farm. Special. If you know what it is I'm talking about, then you know. You might get an invitation. You might have to ask me in private message. You know, it's kind of a private party. But oh, if, um, 
it's a good time. It's going to be fun. And that's one of many of acts that musical acts that we'll have. Tom Johnson, I'm sure, will play as well. And um, and our good friend Brian Flick will be doing sound again, I'm sure. And it's, it's a, <laughs> the 17th, 18th, 19th of June. Actually, just 18th, 19th of June. The 17th will be like the day before when nobody really is out there. So it's going to be Brian. But, and the pre you know. What, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as the light passes, let us come that's right, into that's their. Right. They open the gates. <laughs> what, what, other, what other private parties do we have, John? <laughs> I'm, I'm planning. I don't know if it's a private party or if it's public. I'm not sure. I should have found out. We're playing. Jenny, Saint it's Saint private. Benefit. Oh, I know. Buzz is playing St. Jude Benefit in Peoria. Actually, it's up north on the 22nd. Find out if it's private. I'll post the event page has been sent to but, me. But you know, I I find you know. Peoria. Okay. Exactly. Knowing a lot of the music scene, there's a lot of stuff that is private and really uh, limited tickets. So jump on whatever it is, whether it be Shoe Fest or yes. some of these things are private. As a musician, I have some health issues, and I kind of I respect that, and I kind of appreciate the venues and the promoters. The people that are putting the thought into it, because it does make me feel a little bit weaker. I think Jen, Jen, my favorite, my favorite female writer right now, she uh, struggles playing on playing in front of people, but she can write music so well. But sitting at home, she can perform online because she feels more comfortable that way. And I'm so good to see, you know, to get out. I want you to get out. Uh, right, you know you're a beautiful writer, you know, get it, get it, and don't forget that. You, 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 you know when that um, pandemic or what are they, this virus or whatever, it's and when it's completely over, I'm going to take my laptop and and burn it in the fire and and <laughs> zoom it away because I, don't, I really don't like Zoom. Right. It's like smashing and burning the albums. I'm going to throw the damn thing away because I really Wait don't like talking to you guys this way. I'm tired of this crap. <laughs> you miss a spell. That's why. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> the last time I saw him was at the Billy Strings drive in. Yeah. Laura, and there was just, I think, four of us. That was when we, we still had to. We're still in our spaces. Yeah, still, still in like yeah. our. Yeah. <laughs> How are we doing, sweetheart? Good. Yeah, that, that is the last time I saw you, Miss Jenny B, was at Billy Strings in the parking lot. And we oh, went, and that was a good time. Fancy fine, I still use it. Yeah, we had munchies in the parking lot and the cooler. Oh, and... I bet you. What's happening? I bet you you don't have shoes on. No, there's no shoes here, Phil. <laughs> God damn it. You think, you think we wear shoes regularly? We clearly not. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. You see Joy on the show there too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. She yeah. asked me earlier today, John. She's like, "Hey, can I be on the John show? Yeah. You think you'll like me?" Uh, speaking of Billy Strings, I mean, when I saw Jenny be there, I mean, I've seen him a couple times before, three, four times. It, you, he can't be that good, but he is that good. It's really not bluegrass. It's kind of some funky kind of music he's doing there. I don't know. One of those millennials, isn't he? He's younger. He posted pictures of himself this morning with Carlos Santana. Yeah, you yeah. can play outside, but we're, there's no gonna, there's not going to be any possible. Well, he could do what he. Like a totally new flavor of ice cream. He just like he's That's just. That's a good solid. way to put it. Yeah. Getting. He played at Hartford a couple times. Yeah. He's he played, yeah. I met him at Hartford. I met him at Frankfurt Bluegrass. Yes, he did. Yeah, anyway, just good good music. Good music. Yeah. I already told you the story. I'm not going to say it again. I'm excited about the few little ones you're coming I already up. said the story to John Mute Eason. He's still in Bloomington. Yes, Bloomington. How many tickets? It's probably sold out. Don't mute. Yeah. I know some That's people that were out. trying to go. I wonder if they got All these musicians are, are, are putting shows on. They're like, yeah, it's sold out, sold out, sold out. I'm like, That's great, but they were only going to sell out like a portion of what they could actually sell for the venue. But that's cool that they're selling as much as they can. You know, people are definitely willing to come back to it, you know. I wish I could think of who it was, but this morning, like when I was half Good a question. week, somebody put up a post and they were saying, figure out how much you spent the year before COVID on concert tickets. 
and then look at how much you're going to spend and then figure out how much you still haven't spent and maybe consider donating that to somebody's live feed or buying arts off of somebody yes. else. And I thought that was kind of an interesting, that was a good way to like kind of prioritize where mm -hmm. you might spend and you might not. Interesting. Easton and I had that conversation about co folks like Cody doing their shows and donating to them if you can, you know. And yeah, we have sure. been, we haven't just spent money on doors at the door or ticket or anything, you know, lately. So, yes. Nice. Yeah. I think, doesn't he have new candles out? Like, open, creepy candles? I think it's just like you get the sticker and put it on a candle. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, well, then I need they to get one of those stickers. They should be selling candles because you're not the first person that said this. <laughs> about sure candles. Check out yeah, Jenny B has one of the best stickers out of the thousands I have on my bins. The best one is the one you did for her, uh, John, I do believe. The real long, narrow one with the light blue, the turquoise color, the long sticker. Just a fucking girl? Yeah. Uh, Jenny, That's that one cool of the stickers? best stickers. Uh, uh, people bring that up and they look at the bins that I got. And that's one of the best stickers. Yeah. I don't remember seeing that, though. I'll have to notice that next time. Yeah, I got, I got one for you. Summer Solstice, I'll get you, give you one. You're good. Let me get some t-shirts. You make this? No. Oh, I love it. Best t-shirts. Did you? I got dogs barking over here, possums running over there. Yes, yes. No, uh, we got hula hoop and a uh, freaking uh, jump rope in my yard now, Phil. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, no possums. There'll be no possum sighting. How you doing? Possums are everywhere. Got me in the yeah. good? Are you on? Are you listening? Who? Yeah. Jenny B. Hey, hey, Jenny. No, she's gonna. She's been talking. She's about to play. Laura just walked in the door, John. And Eason. And there she is. Let's okay, let's poke right? let's poke again. Jen with a with a stick. Let's get her to play. Got, I know. Poke her, poke her. That's not how you get a Jenny bee to play. You don't poke a beehive with stick. Well, that's how. You don't get the bees, man. What is it? You get more bees. You get more. Something about honey or something. Yeah. <laughs> where did where's have Jenny bees here? I said that nicely, yeah, Jen. I want I obviously, I. No, I wanted to let me drop. I've been really not. It tastes like yucky. No, no, just get a beer. You want to say hi to Jenny? Why don't you jump rope all the way across the yard and grab me a piece of that tree, that lilac tree? My neighbor's got peaches trees, peach trees. Jump rope all the way there. Do it while you're running. <laughs> All the way to the alley and grab me a flower. You got it. Keep it up. Keep it up. Don't stop. I got a Jenny B. I got a couple pins. Peach Eye. You know what? Pick I used on Monday. It had him on it. Peach Eye, I have you in my pocket a lot. He goes with me a lot of places. I'm mad at people. This is clearly not a lilac tree. <laughs> Our good friend Jenny B, folks. Uh, our buddy, our buddy Charlie here, Chester, Scooby, is his name actually. Um, I'm gonna give her the mic for just a few minutes there, and um, if you gotta pee, you gotta pee. Don't go pee right now. It's a good part. It's a good part of the show. Do the dishes and wash my hair and walk the dog. He's a good old dog. 
can find me a pretty old dress to wear. There's a birdie singing in the trees outside, but we've been stuck inside going out of our minds. It's a world to go through the civil meltdown. Since we've been doing this, yeah, since you guys have been doing this, yeah, we played it the other day on Fury Alive, but we got a couple new ones up our sleeves, a couple new fun ones, a couple that I can't play, I just sing on, which has been nice. Got all these great musicians, so that's fun, though. Get to put that's down fun, the guitar yeah. and just well, that's, that's exciting. I'm excited to see that project right. come together, yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's fun when you're kind of feeling like, uh, I'm like. It was fun that all of a sudden this group of people, like, all of a sudden were like, no, this is kind of, we're going to make some more music. We're going to make something, something new happen. It just kind of reminds you, like, yeah. Reminds you, like, we haven't seen so many of our people, and there's so many people, like, yeah. still behind all of us. I don't know, this has been kind of hard on a lot of people's heads. Yeah, you know, it has totally been. I've, yeah. I've had friends recently that have been stressed out over this stuff. Me too. And, and I, myself as well, not, not, not excluded. <laughs> Um, that's why we're doing what we oh, do, you know. Yeah, Hold on. yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, he's muted. We're just like, oh no, you, yeah, you oh. muted me again. Yeah, well, thanks, there was, boss. There was music playing. I can't talk. You know what? Me. You can mute me, but it, when when you can't hear me, I can just go like this. You know. Hey. No what? Problem. What? What are they gonna do? I think you're also number one. Hi, little mama. How are you? <laughs> Oh, John made me get up and click. Hey, the host wants me to unmute Phil. You believe that? He did. You gotta click the button. Click my button. Hey, hey, John, what? What? It's a new. It's it's well, part mine? of the Zoom process. Yeah. What button? No, what? What um, Jenny B says, we have like a group of we're in a cult. What kind of cult are we in? Hey, Phil, we are in a cult, though. One where the love just seems to somehow keep Yeah, I like our cult, whatever it I is. I like love always survives. Ethan, you don't have a pass yet. It's a cult with all the culty parts of it. With all the culty stuff that they eventually oh, ruin the, the fun. Weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not the bad weird. You know, man, we don't all live together at the same place. I mean, that's kind of the, right. We're all over the we're all over the state of Illinois. Let's be honest. The Illinois cult. Illinois, Indiana, Wisconsin. Well, part of the the thing of being in the cult, you can't say what state. We're not in Illinois. How do you know? Missouri, Missouri, 
We just Phil, I know where you live. I'm into the cult. I love that song, Fire Woman. The cult. Pretty good jam. <laughs> great guitarist, great vocals. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. Well, you're young. He sells Sanctuary by the cult. That's a jam. Yeah. The voice on that dude is crazy. I think I, I think I saw the cult. Isn't that a band from the 90s? Yeah, yeah you couldn't have. You're young. No, I've seen thousands of bands, Bill. <laughs> thousands, thousands, here? thousands. Okay. Thousands. With an S. All right. Yeah, not sitting at a bar hitting a jukebox. That doesn't count as seeing a band. Oh. All right, what band have I seen the most, Bill? Jenny B, that's a huge guitar. What are you going to play? Take a guess. All right. Look Take at it. Take a guess, Bill. What band have I seen the most? The Swag. Grateful Dead tribute band out of St. Louis. You know, the, the swag. swag is playing what they, uh, tomorrow night in Aurora. Oh, are tomorrow they? night in my hometown. Nice. It sounds fun. And I I'm like not going. Jimmy Jabot. That guy's cool. You know? He's the uh, the lead lead. All right, John and, uh, John and lead singer. John and Jenny he's... are looking at me like, all right, your turn. I can tell we're even looking at lead. We might be reading. Well, I can see what the hell you're doing. What do? Do you know you're in Aurora, right? You know what? No, you're not. Do you know a guy named Chris Benson? Who? A singer songwriter might be in an area where you might be hanging out every now and then. I can't hear who. What what name? You know a singer songwriter from Aurora named Max Benson. Max Benson, yes, I do. I know the name. He always, he always wears like a fire or not a fire. Oh, I know. A train, train conductor hat. Engineer hat. Yeah, nice. he always got on his cowboy boots. But man, he can play some rock and roll slash twang like country. He's come out with like three or four albums here. You guys need to get him. We can try. We're open for anything. Anybody wants to be on the show for that matter. We um, we don't vet our we don't vet our guests at all. We let Jenny B just walk in here. Drove <laughs> up. Said, "Hey, I'm coming over." Ethan's been in that show before. <laughs> I said, "I need to get out of Bloomington normal for a minute." Jenny, do you want to go see mom with me? Yes, I would love to. Awesome. I was just saying, I needed one of those candles, and they said it was a sticker. Put on a hey, is she getting the girls out of the room, John? Are we gonna do mail talk here? No, no, it's all we're live. We can't do mail talk. Okay. <laughs> Whatever that is. Like I got some mail today. I got I got mail today. I haven't even opened yet. <laughs> I'm at mail in the car. I wish I wouldn't have opened. Were we supposed to have a uh, segment nuts. that um we have to open something? In a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. We got to be here just for, for a short segment here, so we got you know we're, right. to... we're having an extended day. We're having an extended show. Uh was it four hours tonight? It's, it's ridiculous it's long, and we're, we're probably going to order food in the middle of it somehow. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm making some Thai food, and uh, we're going to eat and do shots of uh, some sake. And uh... Nice, nice. I called a Chinese restaurant today at noon because I wanted some Chinese food, and it said they were open online, but nobody answered. I called two times. Two times I called. Nobody was going to answer the phone. Made me mad. They're probably busy. Was it lunchtime? Come on. It was. It was like, yeah, it's twelve thirty. Let's call it twelve thirty. All right. Uh, a little later than lunchtime. All right. You got forward thinking on that stuff, Ethan. Come on now. I had Chinese food with my dad last night. I left my leftovers at his house. He was nice enough to bring them to my house and leave them at the door at ten. I forgot to go get them and ran an errand, so they didn't get brought in until like one. And I'm just not sure if now they can even be eaten. Jen, they're probably still good. Uh, take a couple of bites. Uh, probably still be good. Let's be honest. You've eaten pizza on the stove from the night before, haven't you? So the Chinese food's probably still good. Yeah, I've eaten right. for the whole summer. So. Pizza out of the box the next day is pretty damn good still. I, I like to warm it up. I don't like cold pizza. You don't like cold pizza. We need to have a nope. challenge. Next time we're all together, we're going to have a cold pizza challenge. We're good pizza. Oh. Let it get cold, and then we'll see if you don't like it or not. I bet I throw up. I bet I will. And Phil, as much beer as I drink, I probably could throw up at anything that tastes bad. Right? All right? Phil, do you have any questions? 
No, I'm just spacing out listening to Laura vacuum above my head upstairs and looking at old posters of Shoe Fest because I got them all hanging in my uh, downstairs studio and reminiscing because uh, it's time to do uh, Shoe Fest artwork. Um, yes. Uh, I got a few posters of Shoe Fest. I always get a poster. Of intrigued by the lineup that's going to occur. What is the lineup, Phil? No lineup yet. I'm not going to tell you. Give me some insight. Let's get, let's do some insider I, talk. Here, here, I'll give you, I'll give you a hint. What's the hint? There's a couple drummers playing. Drummers. There's a bass player a few. Mm -hmm. And some of them are from. He has no idea. California. <laughs> West Coast. All right, now I'm starting to second guess this, Phil. Yep, yep, yep. Right. And I, I, I'm going to bet there is... The Beach Boys? Ooh. No, I don't like the Beach here, Boys. I, here, I'm, I'm, just, not there. I'm, I'm being serious now, but it would be great to have... One of our guests, one of our friends on our show who was on from American Idol, uh, she might come back. Who knows? Ooh, I bet she does. Who? I a song on the show once before. I bet if Leah's there. Did she's you part release of... a single this week? She did release a single this week, I think, too. Saturday and morning. Song. Yeah. Did she? Well, I, didn't, I haven't seen this yet. Well, okay. We'll be on our show, our show tonight. She's in one of the videos of the show tonight on YouTube. Find it real easy on Instagram. I'm sure Facebook too. Yeah. Did uh, John? Can we uh, release all this stuff from these musicians? They already let us play it on the show. All right, because there's quite a few famous musicians on this show that I kind of freak out about that I don't realize that we've had on. I know. I know. That's like a um, yeah. It's quite overwhelming, John. I mean, if you really look at it, I mean, a week to week, it doesn't, but it all that, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's completely weird. It, the funniest thing is. Ooh, okay. Mute him, mute him. Not me. Him. He has no idea her brother on Facebook. I'm so sorry, whoever that is. Don't show it, please. Sorry, that was. You better, okay, that's fine. But it, it's quite funny, not funny. When I say funny, I, I, I'm i speechless to uh, to see a couple of, um, one of the greatest, uh, one of the best guitarists I've seen, in the, and one of the greatest female vo vocalists, and she's in your house, and Roy was on her thing, when Jenny B sang uh, at some festival opera in a, in a thing in a rainstorm i was crying and she's there and she remembers that and i uh, and then tia was there with her dad and althea i call it tia what well, you know it's just a small world beautiful thing that was a fun time. remember that jenny b Right, right. Just kept going. I never stopped. Let it rain. I left early. I got sick. I ended up missing Shoe Fest because of that festival. Well, not because of that festival, but I got cold that week, and it was the week before Shoe Fest. It was like a week before Shoe Fest. I got sick. You cannot miss Shoe Fest. It's. it's uh, <laughs> not muted for a while. He's telling us all about it. Right now. He can you hear Ethan? Really yeah, I'm not even looking at him, no. <laughs> we keep doing the same hand movements he's doing. I know, I know. <laughs> <It's> mean. <laughs> Leave him out for a little bit. He's, he's, he's... <laughs> we're going to give him the option. He's got to get up. Oh, no, oh. here comes Bob again. All right, what's going on over there? <laughs> Good friend, Ethan, where's your bottom half? A little more Jenny B in our soul if we can. Well, somebody just said and it rained, so I thought, and I thought of a song that uh, Andrew and I wrote last year, uh, right before, well, a year and a half ago, before planting, because it wouldn't.
to stop raining. And it rained, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained. Man standing muddled in a puddle of mud, looking out in the mist before him. Forever, forever, and a day. Forever, 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 and a day. It rained, and it rained, and it rained, and it rained. That rain just would not stop coming. We went to bed a young man, and he woke up looking older. He could see the weight of the world resting on his shoulder. So he dreamed, yes, he dreamed, and he dreamed, oh, he dreamed that rain would stop coming in. Said rain. When it rains. <laughs> um, yeah, my good friend Jenny B here, folks. Jenny B plays sometimes with the band Buzzed, and now has a new project she's working with, and all kinds of fun stuff we've been, we've been doing with Jenny B over the years, and gotten some, some great music. It's going to support John. Some, and some great things. I'm just going to put Easton in you know, the waiting room since it's just us for a little minute here. We love you, Easton. We're not getting yet kicking you out, but your, your content was lacking. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think, Phil? One more thing here. Yeah, you did. Oh, he should be ready to go. There he goes. Well, here I'm going to be like a smart ass. I, I, you know, it was average, just like our show. <laughs> because I'm not going. I love you, Jenny B. No, I mean, it's it, it's just um, priceless, um, beautiful. Um, that we, um, you and me, could have these musicians, friends, uh, want to come on and talk to us and play their music, which that's why, yeah, mm -hmm. um, and it, it's pretty, it, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. I, I, yeah. 
I've asked JB a few times. My desperate leaks. I was like, well, I gotta find somebody. JB will, you know, hey, JB, I'll come here. JB's there, you know. So chicken. And then it's, it's hard to get past that threshold of doing it and, and being on the show. Although we don't even know why we're doing it. It just kind of happens. And... Well, I've watched the show not a hundred yeah. times. I mean, that would be a lie. I like to exaggerate <laughs> since we're on 51, right? 52. No, um. A week to win your anniversary. Well, I, it took me a year to get used to a new way, I think. <laughs> Finally, so I'm embracing it. Because in one week, I've done two live streams, and it took me literally a whole year to get comfortable with it. I'm not comfortable with the whole computer thing. Now like, everybody's going on, like on tour next week. So yeah. everyone that does it, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not comfortable at all. Still. Well, I'm looking this it. way. I'm looking that way. I really don't know. Do you have a teleprompter? Yeah. Um, well, I, I have. I can... Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Offset producer. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't know. Laura's doing this. No, she. I told her she took the dog for a walk. Yeah. She's got to do her. Uh, she's got to do her steps. She's got to do her steps, or she's not allowed. It's like the door. It's like a a dog gate. If you didn't do a thousand steps, you can't come through the fence. You know. <laughs> It's the human walker. You must do a thousand steps or you will get zapped. Remember what I said about uh, not blending so much? Oh, you blend right in with the painting now. That is actually perfect. Now, really, those are not macaroons anymore. What was you? What were you saying, John? No. Not to release anything on Mother's Day. That's what the plan is to Mother's Day. Planted you talked about it for two weeks in a row. You planted stuff two weeks ago. I thought you were supposed to plant potatoes. Um, the hardy stuff. Under yeah. the moon. Okay. Well, well, if you come to my no, you can plant. Okay, right. I'm not in the farmer's almanac per se. It's in the bathroom, but I like reading stuff. But I planted a lot of shit. I mean, I got potatoes, and my my the yard's not that big, but I'm frugal in how I plant. But I got like. 30 tomato plants and about 30 uh, pepper plants, various varieties all marked. And I have to cover those tonight. And I have tarps, but I put cages on already. So I just throw the tarp over. I get a whole game plan, but it sucks because it's going to be cold here tonight. But I love my herbs and we have fresh, we have kale and the chives and the onions are ready and beets you can, I'm growing. And so we should have a garden. I love my garden. After the show, I'm going to go, yeah. And a lot of herbs. I like every herb. Chamomile, you can put, yeah. So a lot of good stuff. I can live in the garden. But I need a chicken, though. But I have to, um, I couldn't kill it. Hey, John, what's that elm right next to Todd Schneider, right above Jenny B's head? Is that a Larry Keel? Larry Keel album. Where are you going? Bye, Jenny. Yeah, bye. It's great to see you. We'll all see each other soon. Well, June, at least June. Big hug. Big hug. I don't know what that is, but I'm doing it anyway. A big hug. A big hug. Oh, big mic, gotcha. It looked like I was doing the chicken dance. <laughs> no, I can't dance. On that note, love y'all. Bye, Jenny. Take care of each other. The chicken dances have happened on this show before. Yeah, watch out for Buzz. We'll be playing pretty soon. We're playing some 4th of July party. Got some fun stuff coming. Got some new stickers. Hey, Michelle. Oh, hi, Amy. Hello, Amy. Hello. How are you, ladies? Bye. Have fun. Have a glass of wine. Thank you, thank you for everybody singing. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you, Jenny. Love you. All. You know what? See y'all later. Bye. You know, this Zoom really. So yeah, Friday night. Friday night. Fifty-two Fridays. Fifty-two Fridays. I dedicated my four o'clock hours for the Fenfield. Um. Every Friday for. Mm -hmm. As far as I can tell, it's got Phil. Yeah, this Zoom thing really is kind of, yeah. Do you want me to give me some? Did you Zoom like a year and a half ago? 
No, you're a half foot. No. You adapted so quickly, like really quick to do this. I, I, I had no clue. I guess you can call that. Um, that was nice. A couple of Jenny B songs. We don't get that enough. That's we miss that. That's, um, that's no, I miss uh, Jenny B. She's got a great voice. We got a lot of good stories. Uh, and Roy too. I mean, we're just gonna so, try to hijack her and hang out with her. Yeah. So, my mom's so, watching right now. How do you think about your, my mom? Her name's Patricia Wigan. Patricia Floyd Wigan. Griffin Floyd Wigan. With all these names in the middle there. Patricia Floyd Wigan. Patricia Wigan's a real name right now. Uh, she's watching the show. I sure love my mom. She paints and draws and does a lot of art. Uh, I was going to have her on the show tonight, but she got cold feet like they all, they all do, you know, the guests. And, yeah, so we can just Hi, talk John. about her a bit, you know. Hi, John's mom. I'm the goofball. I'm Phil. How are you? Um, my mom would come on the show, but she would think it was a show from Chicago, WTTW, called Zoom. Um, yeah, she's still, yeah, but... Uh, she watches a few of our shows, but hello, John's mom and uh, Mother's Day. You, you got a good son. Well, Mother's like, Day, is there, so we have to get yeah, all the time. He's pretty cool. Um, he did good. And if, and if yeah, it, 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 never mind. you think you're speechless? <laughs> no, I mean, there's a certain point when the child and then adult has to be the kid. This is true. But hello. Yeah. Um, what are we going to talk about now? We have to think about the, um, the alphabet game pretty soon. We got to kind of. Sort of okay. We have I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Okay. Come up with something. In an hour, we're going to compare this video this bit, um, of the 50, 50 plus weeks of music all separated out into. Um, into little videos that you can watch. So it's gonna be like watching MTV, but just stuff that we produced here on the show, which I think is gonna be pretty cool myself. I mean, that's my own opinion. I made it, you know. It, it boggles my mind, it, the way you talk. 52 weeks produced episodes. I mean. <laughs> and then with you, it's three hours of music. There's three hours of music in this, in this video. Uh, I'm putting it in the pin right now. It's either in the pin comment. Um, so you can go there after you after you leave here if you want to, or you can watch it later. You can watch it anytime you want. It's gonna be up there forever, as far as I can tell. So they, you know, hopefully the musicians are all familiar with it. Um, but it's gonna be. I'm gonna watch it. I, I watched part of it today. I just I started watching it again. I got sucked right in. I wanted to watch the rest of it. And, um, what was your favorite guest? Uh, who? You want to take your dog out? I got this segment. Go ahead. Let let him out. Scooby's got to go outside. I got it covered. He can't pee through the screen, man. If you got a segment, you take it. Well, I have to, because you're not going to be here. You're going to Alaska or somewhere next week. Right? You tell me. Well, I know where you're going. I can't announce where you're going. Want me to tell him? Sandbush. <laughs> I know where you're going. I got the address. I can give it up. Yeah. Scooby, go outside. Go potty. Scooby was just upset. They left. Scooby went out there. Just a minute ago. Oh, well, Laura well, hasn't learned because I don't give it. I give it chicken, whatever. Don't give it table scraps. Well, I like cooking spicy food and. No, look. Anyway, the dog gets the runs if, yeah. You don't want that. That's not fun. That's not fun to do. So it's going for a double run at this moment. <laughs> double runs. That was good. That was good. <laughs> I had to do it. Oh, A to Z. What are you thinking, John? What do you think? Um. I'm getting Chinese eyed. That's why I like the sun. I can wear sunglasses. Um, a to Z for yeah, A to Z. Yeah. So Jeffrey Blackman, he always suggested that we do A to Z at some point. Cause we want we're gonna do it. We're gonna get through the alphabet. Probably start pretty. Oh soon. no, we can't. I don't think we have any more guests. Unless I, I might forget anybody. Look at my list. We don't need any more guests. I got a lot of things to say. 
Amy said she would come on. Jimmy, what's going to happen? Okay. You got a lot of things to say. All right. Amy's going to go. Amy's gonna do crochet and do poetry. What? Are you um serious what? about taking a segment so I can get the dog out to go to the bathroom? Yeah, go ahead. All right, give me a second. You go ahead and you can start. Anytime you what, what? Like, like, I you I really need you. Yeah. You just gotta tell me where to go, and I can be in control. I'm just trying to help you out. You know, that's why it's the Phil and John zone. It's like one floor of the cuckoo's nest. Or water world. <laughs> you really <laughs> 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 might just shut us down for saying that kind of thing. That's not that's not okay. Alright, well we'll see. Like if you, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna give up to Phil folks. Uh, you guys can comment now on ideas for the um, hey, where the hell are you going? <laughs> Let the dog be right there. <laughs> Go ahead. Two, two weeks of five records. Whatever. We'll see what happens. All right. All right. I trust you, I swear. Okay. What, what, what the, what? It's all you. All right. Well, no, you can't do that. No, 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 no. It's not the pee cam. Oh, no, no. You got to do that. Come on, Doc. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute you. <laughs> you don't have to mute. You can mute whatever you want to mute. I was gonna show them the beautiful trees oh, outside in the sunshine. Now I, now I got a headache. You're wa bobbing up and down. Cause you're, 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 you're out in the. Well, you, yeah, you're like dungeon. four hours south of me, man. Out here it's freezing. I'm, got, I'm turning the heat on. Out there you're growing. Um, look at that. <laughs> uh oh, I just freeze. Okay, I'm back. Dead. I planted this grass. This, this, this new grass is growing in real nice. This is a weed. Isn't that a weed? That's a weed. Yeah, but it's that. a flower, though. We it's got a bunch of those weed. on the side. If Yeah. You know, you can't. Probably could eat the damn You can't thing. steal everything off. I mean, if it's got a flower, there's a lot of, uh, you know, wild weeds, wild flowers. They flower. That's cool. That's a nice tree, man. Okay, now is we're in house. What it's the hell is that? Whose tree is this that? Is, this, is, this is the backyard. You have to let me see that tree. That's a nice tree, man. You can make. Wow, that's nicely shaped, dude. Check that out. You climb that mother. You can climb it. Yes, two dollars. Hell yeah. So that's this is a my nice sport tree. Sports segment. Are you ready for my sports segment? Here we go. Yes, so. good. We just talk see. sports here. We do sports. Right. Is there anything coming through at all? I don't know if it's on speaker mode or what's going on. No, so. you sound fine. But anyway, you sound fine. Yeah. 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 All right. He's doing really good. Yeah, that tree. Dude, that's a big backyard. I didn't realize you had to be a big backyard. Here's the whole tree. Dude, that's a monster tree. So we got that one, and we got this one in the front yard. And this is the one next door. Yep. Well, our neighbors could be watching here. We got a tr branch just hanging over our house. <laughs> My internet's so funny. Look at that blue skies, man. What you, ooh, that's a nice... Oh, you can burn fires. I already got it. I didn't tell uh, Laura that we're, I get a spot for a fire pit. That's your campsite right there. Yeah, right by Herb Garden. Yeah, we're going to do that. So that's your campsite right there. Yeah, dude. That, that's my right. campsite right there. All right, cool. There's a bench you can sit on. Oh, uh, yeah, right. You're composting. Well, you, yeah, yeah I a need a big... Uh, in a future house, in the farmhouse, yeah, I want to compost. But I... I yeah. That's a that's right on. I didn't realize you had the big that big of a yard. You know your goggles are killing me. What do your neighbors think of you? I don't really care. <laughs> either people. either do I. I mean, I, I guarantee you, my neighbors know. Yeah, they, they they they've seen a lot of stuff. They just go, "Hello, Philip. Hello, Philip." I get a lot of those. I know. Hello. They're good people. They're good people. Everybody, they go, How's Laura? 
Hello, are you? Okay, yeah. Uh, Chester's barking again. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's well. Oh, that's I like that. Those that that color is hard to find. Hey, Scoober. Hey, Scoober. <laughs> I think we talked about color pigments, yeah. I got some, found some cool colors. Who's like that color blue? Blue, violet. We took Our this yard's trying to trip out, out, but man, it's freaking not nice out there. We were going to walk at the zoo and they had a whole bunch of these plants growing, these like, these. Yeah, uh, man. Succulent I got kind of a plants. bunch of them. You, if they and fall they, down, you can just break, just John, you can just on break the them off and stick them in the dirt. They grow like le uh, wildflowers. They're pretty cool. They grow inside, outside. Yeah, that's all. That's all from just the, the, the falls on the, the stuff on the ground. Uh huh. That works. This is, like, this is the dog's pool. Does your dog have a pool? Oh uh, yeah. It's pretty nasty. It needs to clean, pretty bad. Well, Scooby, you coming? It's it's a plastic pool. Actually, I stick my feet in Come it. On, I got yeah. it at Walmart when it was blazing. Yeah. I got a bird back right, there. Right. Our plants are outside too, so we really can't talk. But they're not like in the ground yet. Well, shit, if I had those outside, they'd, they'd die because it's, you're four hours south of us. It's not yeah, cool sure. here. No, no, no. I don't know if I told the story of my cat yet from this week. My cat's got a new, new, thing, new predicament. Thank you. Um, but you're gonna have to talk for a few minutes, all right, Phil. I'm gonna get I'm gonna give it to show you for a minute. All right. All right, you gotta shut your camera off so I can talk because all right, there you go. Shut it off. Turn it off. There you go. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Okay, how you doing? John's off. Um, welcome to the uh the f John, turn it off. I can hear you. We're echoing. Turn it off. Um, do you, do you find it, I, I find it I intriguing, um, that I don't know who's watching because for all these weeks, I do not have, I don't see who's watching or writing right now, but there might be one person writing, but I know there's a lot at times that watch the show and, um, uh, um, I hope you enjoy um, the times. It's not even right either. No, I don't like this Zoom thing. I can't wait for the music festivals that are coming up. There's a lot coming up. Um, Shoe Fest is coming up. Uh, Mackey's Hideout's got a lot of good stuff coming up. Um, the High Hawks are coming up. They're with Miles Over Mountains and Wise Jennings and Craig Bauman and the Story. Um, Sidecar Supper Club. In Batavia, it's got some great music coming up. Um, I will be there next weekend at Psycho Supper Club in Batavia for um, the county line. The county line at um, Psycho Supper Club. Um, we'll be at Blue Ox, um, a big one in Upper Wisconsin. Uh, no small feet. Uh, Miss Little Feet. Uh, John Hartford. Uh, John will be at John Hartford. Uh, private party, private party, private party. Uh, uh, good Scooby, festival. Scooby, Scooby, come on. Let's go. Scooby, let's go. Let's hey, go, let's go. still talking. Come on, come on. Uh, Sandwich, show. Illinois. Come on, come on. Anybody want to go? Um, there's a six-band festival this. called Goat Cella. Uh, great thing. And there's a couple uh, ones up in Wisconsin I'm going to, uh, in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, and Green Bay, Wisconsin. One is Sprocket Jam, one is called Little Stock. Great music festivals, great lineups, a little edgy, eclectic, um, Phil kind of music, Laura kind of music, Chester kind of music, my kind of music. Yeah, good stuff. Um, Tom Dean, Mr. Bubbles, you should go. Tom Dean, Mindy. Mr. Bubbles, uh, John Griffin, Amy, uh, my friends, let's go. Good stuff, good music, good times, camping. Key thing of a music thing is I, I think camping for a couple of days. 
Get the phone out of my Come on. Feedback. Walked in the room at the wrong time. Did you hear all that? Hmm. Are you muted now? No, I'm not muted. <laughs> I was irritated. Well, you, you were outside eating with the squirrels, weren't you? No. no. Okay. I was talking about music. Uh, like music? No. I was starting to roll, and then you came in the room. Why don't you go back out and take the dog for a while? Yeah. I did. He went pee and everything. Good boy. Good boy. There, it, there you go, John. Number 52. 52. Uh, the rock garden is awesome. Yeah, 52. Um, we had two at um, Sugar Creek. We I gave one to the lady. It's not official because I didn't sign it, and I have the other one right there. So, so watch it, watch it back through the, the old footage today of all the shows we've done. Some of the second times we go on aren't as good as the first times, and sometimes they're better. It's, it's a mixed bag. What is a mixed bag? Our show. <laughs> well, what do you think it's supposed to be? I mean, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you really you think? I, I don't watch the show. I get actually mad. When Laura watches the show, can't so, do it. So. Alphabet game. Okay. What, what, okay. What's the um, hints? What's the, uh... the theme for Alphabet game? Nobody gave us any. Oh, uh, great. Um, how about uh, bands that we've seen? Let's do it again. Bands that we've seen. All right. Go. Bands that we've seen. Let's get high and watch them too, baby. A or alligator wire. And give a little synopsis where and why. Was if you have the, not every one, but you know. <laughs> I was Come on, make band. it classy after 52 weeks. I was in the band. We had mirrors in front of us. One show we were at. So you what was it called? Alligator wine. Holy crap! Alligator wine from St. Louis. Wow, that's pretty cool. Cool. There were mirrors cool. here. I was talking barrel. So there were Actually, I wasn't even in this band. Actually, it wasn't even called Alligator Wine at the time, so never mind. Okay, hey, Alligator Wine. Go ahead. We're going to go with um, Budgie. B U D G I E. Budgie. Melt this ice away. Budgie. Budgie. All right. Budgie. E. Chicago Farmer. I like that band. That's a good band. I, I, agree. I hear he's working on it. He's, a, he's a, uh, got twenty dollars off. Oh. I got one of his twenty dollar bills. Well, do I need to make a twenty dollar bill for Chicago Farmer? Hold on a second. Stop the presses. Um, that might be a project. You know how I made the money for for John Hartford. Funny twenty dollar bill for for Chicago farmer. All right, you got the next letter. Sorry, I got a killer song playing in the background here, and I just want to crank it, but I can't otherwise. We're gonna get FCC right the fuck out of here. Woo, that's a good song. I ain't lying. They've been. Famous. I can't even say the uh, radio station, otherwise we'll get nuked. I doubt that. WXRT. So tell them we want to, to, to we want to talk about them on the show and see if they want to. Well, yeah, I should get Megan. Yeah, but anyway, excerpt. Yeah. Twenty twenty. Mm, okay. Um, what was my letter? Um, you're going with Chicago Farmer. Or you're hesitating. Was he going to come in the door now? No, <laughs> he's not here. He's not on the show. Okay. A D for um. Gotta come up with something original. So a, ba a band that I've seen. 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 Okay. Uh, mm. 
Ding dong. Ding. Del McCurry. <laughs> All right, Del McCurry. I did. Seen him twice. All right. I'm looking at all my posters around. <laughs> uh, I had to come up. Yeah, I, I get. I met Del at Blue Ox, and it was pretty cool. Telling you. Or don't be technical and go it was an M because his last name was M. E for E for Ooh, they're coming to Mackey's on May 15th. EGI, Noe and the boys, and I love EGI. Good stuff. I wish, yeah. EGI. F for uh, a video I posted, I do believe, today, and they were a, a fog hat. Fog hat. Big fan. Four dudes, just raw. Some of the videos I post, whether it be animal or music, really, it just hits me. I get up early in the morning, and uh, yeah, that fog hat thing uh, just kind of killed me. What are you laughing at? G. I want to say that because I said that before. G Love and Special Sauce. G Love. Grateful Dead. You haven't seen the Grateful Dead. I did saw you it. see it? With, with Jerry Garcia? Yeah, probably at the same show. How old are you, think? Okay. G. Okay, I got G. Grateful Dead. You don't got G. I said G. <laughs> you have the letter after G, which you got to figure out on your own. Hold on. I look at the alphabet. Okay. Hold on. Um, we're going to go with uh, Husker Du. You see Husker Du? Um, like four times. At um, the Metro, uh, the Double Door, uh, Club COD. Yeah, in Chicago. Uh huh. Yep. In Chicago? Yep, I think I have, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um. What was your what was your answer? H. Who's gonna do? I seen him with. Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can close my eyes and remember that. Sometimes I didn't even see the band when you were in the other room. Didn't, but they were there. I was there. All right. It's uh, like seeing the Talking Heads, but not re being there. But you know, you weren't really there. Yeah. Right, good. <clears throat> I a blue flop. What? I for um, ice cream maniacs. Oh, ice cream heading. Um, um Jenny B's mom. I. I. I've seen before. No. Um, Bitsy Bitsy Spider song by my grandma has my favorite concert I ever went to. Sorry. Okay. That's All right, that's fine. That'll work. That'll work. J. John, that doesn't look good. I can't say it in public because that wouldn't look right. What? Well, it looked like you were cutting up something. <laughs> I'm drawing, I'm drawing, man. Yeah, okay. Um, um, we're going to go with uh, okay. uh, Jay. Uh, my, my favorite guitarist, I got to see him when he... I've seen him three times... But one time he played exactly what he wanted to, and I think he was, was Jeff Beck um, when he played Wired and Blow by Blow. The other two times he just played other stuff. But when he was on the money, Jeff Beck was my favorite guitarist that I seen. I mean, Jay is for Jeff Beck. I thought Go you were, him. Go ahead. I just thought you were going to make up another band like Fog Hat. What a fake game. What a fake band. You know what? <laughs> You know, least you know, I, I like that when I do uh, albums. You know, the old bands, ACDC, Fog Hat. Nowadays, it's like, do, 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 like seventeen letters. You know. All right, Keller Williams. Oh, okay. That was a good show because they played. Um, they started off with the Cumberland Blues song. You know, Cumberland Blues. I can't get get down. Yes, I do. But instead of singing Cumberland Blues, he sang the words that they love each other over the song Cumberland Blues. 
And then in the middle of the song of Cumberland Blues, he started to play the song, the, the music for I, They Love Each Other, but he sang Cumberland Blues over They Love Each Other. It was super creative. I mean, I'm Keller, Keller Williams, he's a, 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 yeah, John's got a memory. John's got a memory. I was there. I was there, Laura. I experienced it. <laughs> okay, L. Oh. Led Zeppelin. No, I didn't see Led Zeppelin. No. I did. Does anybody remember laughter? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Um, L. Uh, we're gonna go with. Um, well. I'm going to go with Lunar Ticks. Lunar Ticks, huh? Yeah. I'm looking at a Shoe Fest poster. Um, um, good band. We're having a soft cell in the background here from XRT. But the Lunar Ticks. I could have went with uh, Leonard Skinner, who I've seen many a time. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, there's a lot of bands in the L category that I've seen if I really thought about it. Um, but I'm looking at um, the shoot, um, Lunar Ticks, uh, uh, um, Lowdown Brass Band, um, who we've seen. Who, they, they come through Shoe Fest with the horns up the stairs from the second stage. Uh, hopefully they'll be there again. That's their tradition. Um, so looking forward to Shoe Fest uh, beyond. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm sure uh, Kathy Osborne had a, a great comment, as many people did on Facebook, that says, Shoe Fest, uh, that's all. You know, very simple, like, very blunt. Like, there's no words that really explain that. It. It's just a happening, you know, for four days of fun or three or four. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing when you can camp for multiple days. That's when I really think it's happening. It's what, Friday, Saturday? That's three days of camping. You stalled really well. But I still well, for us, it's a few, <laughs> a few more than that. I mean, I've been there for eight before, and, you know, but. Yeah, yeah and the creek, the creek is uh, something else. But it just, um, yeah. Okay, what's the letter, John? That, that was L for uh, L M. You got it, M. Michael McDonald. What's that? Michael McDonald. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of trippy. <laughs> the Michael. Two. <laughs> Michael McDonald. You seen him from the Doobie Brothers? No. no. Then, then what's that for? What's Mount your? Mount. McLaren. Michael McLaren. You have to pick a band you've seen, John. Um, Mighty Mighty Bones. Okay. Seen that a bunch of times. Yeah, they were a good show. It was one of those bands that we saw, and we were like, we're going to go see this band forever. They're so good. But then you saw them again, and it was the same show. And you saw them again, and it was the exact same show. So they played Inter Sandman one night, though. I remember that. They played Inter Sandman. Uh, yeah, you saw the video that these kids played. I posted a video of this uh, band that James Hadfield from Metallica posted of this kid band playing Enter Sandman. Yes, this morning I posted that. Thank you. Okay, um, you have M, I have N. And I've seen this band a couple times with a band called Foghat, and they backed them up called Nazareth. Make a band in your head. Make them up. You're still young. Nazareth. I mean, these cats, uh, you know, they had martial lamps and they came on and they plugged in and they just killed it. I mean, that was the real McCoy. Love Hurts is one of their thing, um, you know, that love. Yeah. But Nazareth and Foghat. Yeah. They were on that. Yeah. And that cycle of music. I've never seen Nazareth. You have not? They play with Foghat, UFO. I've seen Foghat, UFO. Yeah, that was on that tour. They played see, at... Uh, they did see Nazareth, don't worry, no Okay. We were all there. Okay, John, you're up. Here, I'm going to sit down. i got to pee. Bro? Oh, you're out. Oh, Kathy's on her hand. 
Time for Laura, folks. Laura from Aurora. She's our friend. Her name is Laura. She's from Aurora. This theme song is pretty long. It just keeps going on and on. But that's because it's Laura from Aurora. She can come on the show anytime she wants, but she usually chooses to stay off the camera. Anybody have a question for Laura from Aurora? Did I mention the song is really, really long? This keeps going on and on and on. And on. He needs to fix the toilet down here. Then he'll go faster. <laughs> how are you, Laura? What's going truth on? Truth is, folks, truth is. Hey, how are you? And how's that little Scooby Doo doing? He's good. He's outside with Emily right now. I took uh, Chester for a mile walk yesterday. We are trying to walk in between the alcohol. So I took Chester. So he was looking forward to a walk today. So it's been a long day. And um, I took him for a walk, poured my cocktail in a glass to go, and took him for a walk around the block. And he looked at me when we got done. It's like, Ma, what, 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 letter? what is this? Oh. Oh, is, oh, I got two letters. He's oh, he, John is oh. Bye, peace out, everybody. Good to see you. Happy Friday. Hey folks, that was Laura from Aurora. <laughs> I'll get your own segment. I am Aurora. Aurora. Yeah. Um. Anyway, the letter is O. I was I was going to the bathroom. And I have th- I thought of two bands that I've seen in the O category. And they're going to be quite quite intriguing. Take it away. Yeah, yes, you are. <laughs> yes. Because I've seen so many. I'm much, much, much older. But I'm more in tune with genres of music than you are, young man. Go ahead, fire away. What's your old band? Don't make up one either. Oh, it's easy. Come on. The old time take I knew you'd come up with something like that. Yeah. Old time pickers. You just oh. come up with something old and in the way he could have done. That's okay. No, he had that. to see the band. I saw the David Grisman quintet, but I didn't see old in the way. I know, I know. I've seen Peter Rowan. But no, that's not an old. Just because it has O in the name? No, no, it doesn't count. Omen. Mine would be, I, I wanted to give it to you. Oingo Boingo i seen, and i seen the Ohio players. I've not seen them. I thought of the Ohio Players, but I've never seen them before. Ohio Players back in the day at Chicago Fest and Oingo Boingo in a club called, I don't know, somewhere in the Chicago back in, okay. Ooh, good song, but. Focus. Not good. Okay. Oh, oh, P, 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 P. Mm. No, we got to come up with something good. Oh, one of my favorite bands. Not favorite bands. I got a lot. I've seen him many, many a time back in the day, probably seven times. The band was called Fill in the Blanks in Chicago. Remember any Chicago fans out there? Fill in the Blanks. No. Great band. Yep. Look it up. Look in line. Fill in the Blanks. Like what? 70s, 80s? Uh, 80s. Fill in the Blanks. They had a, lot of, they had a couple good hits, too. Fill in the Blanks out of Chicago. Never heard of them. Yep. Well, I'll tell you, write it down. I'll check it out. It's pretty dope, and you'll like it. Are people going to Google it? Are people going to fact check us? <laughs> that, that's fine. I have the facts on these. Okay, I, I've come up with like 15 Ps. What's the other good one? No, fill in the blanks. Look it up. Um, They're out of Chicago, and they had two hits. They played their XRT-ish. Right, uh, but right, anyway, right. they were it, off-Broadway era. You remember off-Broadway? The band from Chicago, they played in the same, uh, like, tour scene, like, uh, you know, Fog Hat, Uriah Heap era, but it was off-Broadway and film and blanks. Fog Hat, Uriah Heap was in the 70s. I know. Hey, it's your turn. Mama? It's your turn, so you got... Okay, um, okay. What's the letter? You got Q. Q? Queens of the Stone Age. Queens of the Stone Age. Queen, I've never Stone seen Queens, Queens of the Stone, Stone Age. Age. Nine times. I've never seen Queen. I, oh, no, I haven't seen so I got to come up with, um, how about... Quash, Quash, what's that rock and roll band? Queen, Quash, Quash. Quash. 
Quiet Riot. No, didn't see it. Bowling alley here in Decatur one time. Quiet Riot did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, the Quick and the Dead, the Quick Silver Messenger Service, the Quick uh, Change, Quick Rock Operation. Oh, Quick Messenger right. Silver. Yeah, no. nope. I think I missed that. Remember, band that you've seen, there's no fibbing. I know. I, I know. Didn't I know what the something. worst part is. It's not even your turn. It's my turn. Oh, great. <laughs> Shit. Cute. I don't know who. Quotes are. Queens He's going to come up with some Mountain Boys. <laughs> Queen Mountain Boys. <laughs> <laughs> the quiet county. See? Uh, oh, I already said Susie Quattro. Q is tough. No, it's a Q. Quiet, right. Yeah, I, it's an ass. I, uh, I didn't go, but I could have went. I heard the commercial on the radio that week. I'm getting it. Um, should have went and saw Quiet Right. I could have used them that day. That probably would have been a story to tell, too. The Bowling Alley and Decatur where Quiet Right played. <laughs> And they must have played in the bar at the bowling alley too. That's a, you know they well, actually they used to mind maybe put a stage over the at the lanes. Oh, boy. Quiet, quick, quick, quick death. I know there was a metal band called Quick Death, but I never had since seen one. Um, you know it'd be fun to do this game with, with bands that don't exist, <laughs> like all made up bands. No, too late. That's a different day. Come on, come on, quit changing the subject, Jack. Come on, you got the queen, you're stuck, you lose. Quentin Martello. No, Quentin Martello. Quentin Tarantino. Uh, there might be a band called that. There's a band called Quentin Tarantino. Probably trade No, you have to see him. Yeah, you have to see him. Okay. Pass. Pass. Okay, I'm going to come up with something good. Pass. Pass, S, S, S. It's not Queen. There's a band called Black Queen. Um, but that doesn't really count. Stone Temple Pilots. Stone Toilets. What, uh, I'm ass? Yeah, I see. Uh, ass. Stone Hold on, no, I'm going to come up with something good. Oh, there's so many. Quake the Earth. The Quake City, the Quaker City Nighthawks. Quartz. There's a whole bunch of bands called Quartz. Status Quo. No, that's that. Quo. Question. Yeah, there are the quill, the quill boy, the choir boys, with a Q, kind of like fish, but with a Q, you know. <laughs> Mountains with a Q. <laughs> boys with a Q. What the we got like 20 minutes until the premiere thing's supposed to start. 20 minutes till your premiere? Yeah, you, 20 minutes. I'm not going to be on that. I'm going to watch you. I'm not, I'm not gonna, You're I'm, on YouTube? No, it's just the recording to the music. Nobody's oh, going to be on. never seen the six sex pistols. The swex. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm ass. I'm going to go with Smashing Pumpkins. Go. Oh. You're up. That's T. T. Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, I seen Squeeze. They're so underrated. They, they just roll, dude. And they get in a groove. They're really uh, good. Uh, part of the hard part is when you talk like I can There's do. like 20 songs that people know. The Dead Milkman. What? The Dead Milkman. Because it starts with the. Oh, Jesus. Why don't you just go the, the? No. I never got to of the. I, like I know. To... I always forget. Oh, you got Dead Milkman? Remember, I'm a, I'm a little kid. I'm so, so much younger than you. T. Come on. More T's. T. The Dead Milkman. Tony Furtado unit. Um, Tony Rice. I mean, you see them. Um, Tony Rice? I seen Devo. Tony Rice like 40 years ago with my dad. Devo. Tyrannosaurus chicken. Tea chicken. Chicken. Thanks, Laura Wins. You can stick her, Laura. How does she? <laughs> how does she hear? She's barely talking back there. Yeah. Totally. You awesome. get a sticker. You got a sticker. You know, eventually. You know, okay. T. You. Ugly you. Suit. Ugly suit. Yeah. That's a great one. Me and yeah. Laura saw a band. One of the best festivals I've ever seen in my life. Yep. Yeah. At Hideout, uh, Hideout Block Party. Yep. With uh, two days. There was no camping. It was in a parking lot at Hideout in the city with bands from all over the world. 
and from the little cow to uh, ugly suit to the mekon to uh, john lankford and we beastie boys the most eclectic most beautiful Who time was Who was uh, 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 oh uh, nico case was yeah. there um uh, um just on and on and i i did some artwork it's in framed in her office just so ugly suit uh band there's bands from czechoslovakia poland uh iceland just yeah. ugly suit just one of the best festivals of all time look it up t-rex you seen t-rex no, not the dinosaur bone at the museum the band no time for your message. All right, you're up for your show. B, I don't know. Where did W go? You're losing letters. <laughs> w? Okay, I got W. Well, I saw the violin. I want to tell a quick story. W, W. What was his V? Violin Femmes. Oh. i seen Violin Femmes. <laughs> And I do believe I seen the same band that back, uh, Violent Fens, this band that I saw was in Madison, Wisconsin, that blew my mind. They backed up the Violent Fens, the waitresses. Yeah. Seen the who. That was, I seen the Who too, but the waitresses killed me. The Christmas song. Uh, the Christmas song, wrapped. Yeah. yeah. Everybody know the waitresses blacked up the violent femmes because my buddy Joe Gleason. Hey, Joe, if you're still around. After we, he went to Madison, Wisconsin my freshman year after high school. And we went there and we had a great day. Madison, Mad Town is killer. You anyway. said the violent femmes. I said violent femmes. You went to the I waitresses. said waitresses, WX. You have X. Last time I saw violent femmes, X opened up for the violent femmes. I think I used it before, but using it again, X. I seen XX. You're not in the game. X. You have X. Y. Y. Y is the easiest one. One of my favorite live bands of all time. Seen them five times, two nights in a row, twice in the round. Yes. By easily the, I can name Chris Squire, John Anderson, Rick Wakeman, Bill Bruford. Just some of the best. Five times. Yes. It's very simple. Top 10 band of all time in my, no doubt about it. Z, Zappa, Zappa. Zappa. Was Zappa play Zappa? Was the original Zappa play his dad's song for the band? The original band, that was a good show. My son yelled out in the expl- excl- exclamation, I love life, dad, during that show. And my son, he was like nine years old or 11 or something like that. He said, I love life. And it made me feel so good when my said son said that. I remember that forever, Patrick, when he said that. Um. That's the that's the last one of the alphabet, the Z. There's Hang no on. more letters. Because that was ridiculous. That's if we go to a different planet, I bet you there's more letters. If we go to a different language, we'd be all confused. We have to learn again. Let's go backwards and then. Okay. Now we'll we'll save for another week. Um. Yeah. So the the thing that premieres is in like 13 minutes. The thing that our show is going to be. Of our music, it's you don't have to watch. If you don't want to watch, I'm gonna watch it. It'll be on. It'll be on forever. I'm gonna share it again. You'll see me share it like a hundred times. It's on my page. You can click on it there. If you want, I can send you the link, Phil. It's um, it's gonna be pretty cool to see all the videos like that together. You probably send it to your TV. Well, you, what do you think? I'm not gonna watch it, but do I have to be? Do I have to? Are you gonna be talking during it? No. Like no. narrating, narrating. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a YouTube video. You can watch it whenever you want to, but it's gonna premiere in about twelve minutes. And, uh, premiere it's like should i get dressed should i wear a tie should i take a shower should i put on some goggles or something i'm gonna give people the last two minutes of it before we go tonight so we're gonna watch the where last are we going sign off where we're are we sign off live facebook here pretty soon is that okay with you but before we do that no, no you can't do that yet. share this little video together this is the, the clip the end of the video it's out. It's actually outro music. You're gonna love it. And then we'll say a few words after it's over. Okay. Trust me. John. Trust me on this. You are so good. I know. God, are you kidding? Love it, John. Love the film, John. Listen yeah. to what you say in a second. Shutting up. All right. 
It's 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 the fill in John zone. Says, we, can do, we can do whatever we want. Hey, we have a good one. Watch this. I'm out here. I'm going to uh, <laughs> the other side of the fill in John zone. Thanks for coming on the show. Much love. Peace. Here's a thank to all our guests who've been on the show since the beginning. I'm just giving you some out- outro music. Bill and John show. Send me a drink. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. All the bands that have been With on the show. Thank you guys. So everybody's been on the show for the whole year. And none of the topics um, that will give you out sound. Thanks to Oliver Stack for the music in the background and David Scruggs. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to Phil. Thank you, Phil. Your magic Phil and John Show sent me. John Show sent me. Wow. Send me a dream. I get to get uh, well, I'm gonna have a copy of that. All these videos, this list. John Show. Right here. Everybody on this list and John. is on the video tonight. This is a yeah, list of all the stuff on the video tonight. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Thank you. So, Let's go out there. Let's go get him. I think that's go what get him. Let's go get him, boys. Let's go get him. Get it. Happy night. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. 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 We should, that that was supposed to be part of the uh, questionnaire. Uh, what have you done 52 weeks in a row? That's, you know, it's not peeing or eating or sex or anything. What have you done 52 weeks in a row? Hang out with Phil on Fridays every, every week. The year we're in, folks, that's four seasons we just did. Um, well, let's see what happens next week. We'll play it by ear. I'm going to be at a, the festival next weekend. We're going to do some sort of... Anybody list. who's watched the show for 52 weeks in a row gets a pen for me and a painting from John. Woo! If they're not proven, you watch all 52 shows. Yeah, go back and talk. tell me what, oh, what album's in the background of every show for 52 weeks. There's always now Todd Schneider's. No, I just Todd Schneider. It's true. This is true. It is Todd. I should say that. I guarantee someone's watching it. One of his friends somewhere. Someone's watching. He's probably watching. It. One second goes. If they hear us talking about Todd Schneider, they go out and listen to him. They might like him. What are they going to do from there? I got the stickers in, folks. Our 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 thing guy. You, you can still order them on my page if you want to. Send the money. We're going to raise some money here pretty soon. We're going to see how much we can raise. A big pile of money. And um. It's all thanks to you people. In the summertime, we're going to go out and sell art, hopefully, and have a good summer and sell our art. You know, it's going to be summer. We're going to be at a fest. Are you ready? Are you, I mean, you got your canopies and your stakes and your hammers and your, and, and, you know. It, it's not about that, even. Here's my yeah. 20 for Cody. Here's Cody, here's your $20 bill for your, your shoe. Oh, that's pretty dope. That's what I dressed. That's what you said I was looking. I was, but I was doing some bad. Buttons. You know, the first piece of artwork that I did was a Chicago farmer. It's pretty close to the beginning for me too. My first, my f- uh, first one I remember. I don't have it, but it was a Chicago farmer. It was red. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super psyched. It's, um, I've been um, um, doing a lot of work, artwork, uh, twelve hours a day. I get up early, and I'm really hope everybody's gonna enjoy the artwork that I got coming up from. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of saying stuff, not 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 band related. A lot of mushroom art. A lot of uh, sure. I'm gonna do my uh, band stuff. Uh, more of my own uh, sayings and uh, and uh, a lot of Grateful Dead uh, quotes and Grateful Dead art or whatever. And uh, my own art, mushroom art, and just a lot of a lot of a lot of cool stuff. Um, yeah, I'm super psyched. Um. um well, Looking think, forward to a lot, a lot of music festivals coming up, everybody. Um, um, keep watching the show. Um, they're going to be, uh, we'll all see each other. I really don't, we'll, I don't want to do this in uh, in my basement anymore. I want to do it. We're going to do it at a festival. Me and John will probably do at least four, four festivals coming up. Uh, we'll be doing it live together. Old shoe. Yeah, we will. Shoe yeah, fest. Well, thank you, Laura, for being on the show. Thank you, everybody, for coming on the show tonight. Thank you. To thank you, Jenny B. Jenny B. Thank you, Roy Ponce from France. Hey, Jenny. <laughs> Couldn't do it without you guys. Yeah, it's time to get on down here. I suppose that's how I'm going to do Anyway, never mind. Um, 
Please tune in tonight to that link in the feed over there if you want to watch the video of all this, all the music from our show for, for 50 weeks. It's um, going to be an interesting setup of stuff. And, um, and we just we thank you all for being here, as always. We thank you for coming to the show. What do you think? Last, last, last words there, Phil, before we go here. You nuke me. I can't see you. Uh, I don't know. Hello, everybody. Um, um, happy... Um... One year, 52 weeks, man. It's pretty, um, pretty, uh, unreal. I, I, I can freeze up. I can't explain, uh, what have you done 52 weeks in a row? Oh. Right. See what happens. Isn't that repetitious? Isn't that repetitious? <laughs> <laughs> it's an R word. Yeah. Well, folks, we appreciate it. What happened to my screen? I don't see anything, John. I'm so. singing song for you. Lee, you're the right, lady brother. Go. You've gone too long without Follow us singing song. I love you, it's Phil. Time. Love you, John. Love you, John. Thank you for doing this for you. Love you, Amy Rowe. And I tell you, a little joy to get it from Illinois. Took fate in their own hands. And sent the show out to the land. Rock's not gonna get in here. Music plays for young and cheer. Don't you let it then grab a beer? Come on, they watch the villain John Show. Villain John Show. They're showing up and there's nowhere to go now. Villain John Show. Villain John Show. They're playing hot, playing so hot that it's melting the snow. Yeah. Villain John Show. Villain John Show. Don't know where this go. Thanks, Phil. Thank you, John. Love you, John. See you guys I'm going to be watching week. the show in um, six minutes. Yeah. Uh, what's the link? It's in the feed over there. I'll send it to you in your messenger, and it's in the feed for the show. You can find it down there in the pinned comment. Right. Or, or Facebook dot, or YouTube.com slash John Griffin Art. Or no. Possibly YouTube.com slash Jive Afro. I don't know. You can find it on my page. Ooh, Where are you going to be at next weekend? Sam Bush, private party. It's not really a private party. <laughs> Too late. Too oh, late. Yeah. You're going to, yeah. We're All right. Um, well, like well, well, Too late. we'll, we'll talk. I'm going to talk to um, Don Black on Monday. we got to hook up. we got to get finalized for Blue Ox. Blue well, Ox is going to be really, really big for us, buddy. I, th I, I got a really sense I'm really positive about we might have to fork out some cash to make cash, but... We still lie. I love... Oh, bye. <laughs>